Alrighty, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to a brand new live stream. This is your Bucket Man Squad Captain TJ Learns Bankai with some more games, of course. Uh, since we finished Pokemon Violet uh, a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks, uh, since Saturday actually, we had to can't, uh, not Saturday, um, since Friday. Um, so we kind of skipped Saturday. I, I honestly, did. I, that was kind of my fault for that. Um, I should kind of put some context there. But anyways, um... All right, so let me get right into um, game we're playing uh, today. So today's game we're gonna be playing, of course. We're gonna re we're gonna resume um, Star Ocean. The the, the, the ah, Jesus Christ, my 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 tongue. Bleh. Star Ocean, the Divine Force. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, the last time we played, I finished one of the bosses and then just never played again. So I'll bring more context. Uh, before we move on to the stream, of course, the gameplay. So I did a little bit of grinding. Uh, we're now in like the later four, like just starting in the 40s. I think I get some grinding in because at the end of the day, too, with all these JRPG games, which most people do, I, I, I like to have like, I like to get like just some better equipment over time. Uh, once again, because... You know, I get more experience or whatever. I mean, especially with the main character's weapon, um, Raymond's freaking weapon, where he gives you like 150 experience more. Even though it's a weak weapon, it'll give you a ton of experience. But regardless, um, it's still pretty. Like I said, we still have pretty good stats, and I end up having to do some research, and we did actually get some skill points over on the skill tree, because once again, it is. Very difficult to find, really, we don't have enough SP, so we need more skill points, which we don't have enough of. But we did get some pretty good major buffs. I didn't really buy too many skills, because there are, there's a few of them on the skill tree that we can buy. That is either elemental, so for example, with a great example, I, I'm Leticia, she has really good, uh, she has like an elemental swords, is what we call it. <laughs> But once again, I don't like those weapons because I don't like the idea that having like sometimes depending on the elemental you're fighting, which really depends, uh, they could suck usually. So, but anyways, let's get right into the game uh, before we move on to doing anything else. Let me just close some windows here. It's a fun. So, anyways, that's always fun. Let's get right to the game. There we go. Star Ocean. I haven't played this in a really long while. Initiate emergency protocol. Wow, we can actually destroy these pretty easily now. Because all we kept doing is spamming the same, like... All we kept doing is literally spamming the same, like, six moves. We are going for a 
I actually took advantage of the situation anyways, because we do have an NPC that does help us out. But it took him to my advantage, and we just kind of grind in the corner with mountains. There we go. Got some XP right there. Some Duma points, which is nice. Alright, where is... We gotta go all the way to road? Fuck. Ah, I don't like some roads, man. Threat detected ahead. Enemies up ahead. Elena. See, I don't even see, like... I don't, I'll say this, too, and this is kind of my opinion. I'm... I really don't like our new our healer for this game. I actually really don't. I don't. I obviously you don't know. It's Nina. I don't like her ability where she uses a bell for like a weapon, and like the bell doesn't really do much. No matter how many attacks I have on her, like her what her skills kind of suck. So I was kind of a little disappointed. The Osirian High Road leading to the Royal Capital is to the northeast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. All right, can I like do? I do. I have some other quests which I haven't touched yet. I I touched a few of them while I was offline. Of course, I touched a few. Configuration. Uh. All right. I I don't. I figure what my quests are. There we go. Um, side stories. That stuff. Yeah. Usually. Oh, you know why? You know why? I'm not used to this menu yet, so... Alright, let's get to the main road. Because we're, we're kind of, like, at this point, over-leveled. For, like, most of the stuff. Bye-bye! Midas gained the level. Albar level it. Al Albar just leveled. Cause we were training like everybody else but them, so we never, I didn't get to choose Elena. High Road is just beyond here. All right, let's go. We can get there. I wonder how long. I don't know how long gonna be on though. To the daughter of Maester de Forge to have actually found a cure for Helgar's disease. Oh, um, it wasn't just me. I had tons of help from the others. And to be honest, we're gonna need everyone's help if we ever want to get rid of the disease for good. Oh, forgive me. I seem to have spoken out of turn. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about it. All right, come on. We got this. We found a cure. But on the other hand, we're also on the brink of war, right? You have the right of it. I apologize. It's not your fault, Commander Theo. But I know world peace isn't just gonna happen because we discovered a treatment for Helgars. Then I suppose I must take it upon myself to restore order to the world, so that you might best distribute the cure. Leave that much to me. All right. I know that you will, Commander. All right, there you go. Stop with the dialogue. Come on. There we go. Oh, this is what I wanted, the screen. Quest list, there we go. Alright, so we need some game meat. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 what is this? What the fudge is going on? Ah! Holy shit! Alright, alright. It's Bucket Man. God damn it. Now Bucket Man gets to be involved. Oh no. Oh no. Now Bucket Man gets to be involved. 
Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. We got Vanessa joining the Bucket Man. The thick as hell is the fucking Bucket Man. Yes, it is me. It is I, the Bucket Man himself. Uh, you guys did not have to raid me. You guys didn't have to. God damn, I was not expecting that raid. Oh, so early. Oh, hype. Gengars. Bunch of Gengars all day. <laughs> But I wanted to. Nah, it's no worries. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. There could have been somebody else that could have probably wanted it more than my dumbass. It's the TJ Thrust. Oh, yeah. TJ Thrust. Look. I got the spear. I got baby Jesus. I got the thrust. <laughs> TJ Thrust. You know, you know, I could do my full combo, you know. You know, you know, we got your uh, True Thrust, Volt Thrust, Vopal Thrust, uh, Chaos Thrust. We got, we got Disembowels, Buttholes. It don't matter. We got everything. We got everything. Oh, this, this guy is not fun. No, we're not fun at all. We're never fun. Every thrust you can find. Yeah. I mean, how, how, all right. How, how we supposed, how we men, are supposed to pierce the defenses of our loved one, our, of our lovely mates. They're the shield, we're the sword, actually no, we're the spears, and we're just piercing through that shit. It don't fucking matter. I mean, unless you wanna go the other way around, then I'm fine with that too, but damn, like, we're just going with some dynamics here. We're going with everything. I am the chief man. I become the birds. <laughs> Yes, come back to me. But anyways, uh, let me get right into the introduction before we do anything else, because I, I don't really do this too often. So anyways, welcome everybody from Cody Judas Raid. I hope you guys had an awesome time on your stream, of course. Uh, Cody, I saw you were playing some Pokemon, and I hope you enjoyed the journey, of course. I know I, I finished my game within three days. I don't even care. Uh, but anyways, welcome, guys. I am welcome, everybody. Excuse me, not guys, just everybody. I'm TJ Liz Bankai. I do a nice, lovely variety stream. Uh, we do b the buckets and art heads for dancing when people actually uh, raid, sub, whatever, chair bits, at least 100. And all, all kinds of fun stuff. We do for you guys. Butthole thrust? Um, no. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, so we kind of play variety of games. We play uh, a lot of JRPGs, um, sometimes multiplayer, or we do uh, some. Also, we do some like games to the library as well. So it's kind of also like a variety mix there. So we're kind of just doing our own thing, you know, playing on my own game. I don't even care at this point. Do the Bucket Man himself. <laughs> yes, exactly. But yes, my key factor is the Bucket Man. And you guys love it, and I do not care, and I will keep going. I'll stop for a butthole wink. Oh, no, no, we're not doing buttholes, no. My holes do not blink. My holes do not blink. Oh yeah, Beyonce to the left, to the left. Oh, everybody to the left, it's Beyonce side. We're all gonna go on the Beyonce side. Oh my God, what is that? Oh wait, that's, Be oh, wait, that's Beavis and, uh, never mind. Cornhole. Oh, never mind. that's all, that's all, Never mind. a Beyonce side. We all go Beyonce side, we go oops. I can go anywhere. And uh, birds, but <laughs> birds is elsewhere to be found. <laughs> oh, great. That's always fun. Um, so anyways, um, what's kind of funny is uh, the last, actually, yeah, what's kind of funny is I had a great time last night because I don't really like to do TikTok lives too often. Uh, I just put a game category. I just put up like the MRPG I played. And of course, like we did like some interview questions just to kind of make things kind of spice up and interest. Be like, hey, what do you? What kind of games do you like? What kind of anime do you like? Hey, um, so all kinds of like weird stuff. Hey, Pokemon, who's your favorite Pokemon? All, all that good stuff. Whatever. I was like, okay, cool. I can answer all these questions, and somebody's like, 
Oh, okay. You're a weirdo. I'm like, yes, I don't care. You can eat my entire organs and baby Jesus wine just to, just to, just to accept yourself. Thank you. I love swords, swords, battle axes, mainly steak sauce himself, steak sauce, and I want some steak with it. Cody, can I have some steak, please? I need you to cook that up shit with medium rare. Okay. That steak is not going to cook itself. I'll, I'll pour, I'll pour my sauce like this. I'll pour everything I have. <laughs> I'll pour all my entire being into that damn steak. Hell yeah, we got you. Exactly. Hell yeah. Love that shit. I love that shit. But anyways, um, let me get right into, uh, <laughs> you know, it's kind of, all right. I, I'm kind of going off trail with myself. Okay. Like I, I'm all, look, I'm all excited. Just like how my grandpa's all excited for having sex, you know? You know, with, you know, whoever, like a young lady, who, who the hell the young lady is. We all get excited. Okay, we all get extra excited. I don't even care. I don't even care if this Andrew right here has nice big breasts. That is revealing, and I would love to touch those. But again, uh, that's a different reality, and I would never get to do that for the rest of my life. Until the day I cry. But joke's on me. Because we're going Beyonce's side. All right. Let me see here. Uh, let, me give, let me give you guys something cool. Let me think here. You know what? Let's pull it off like last time. I want you guys to ask me interview questions, and it could be anything you want. It could be personal. It could be interest. It could be it could be video games, too. It could be anything. And I got you, and I'll answer those questions one by one. I know there's a lot of you, and I will get to everybody. I will fucking make goddamn sure. I will make sure all your holes get filled in with my fucking spear. You can take all of it. Just like my fucking dragoon has taken up fucking dragon powers. Are you really bucket man? Uh, the answer is yes. How big? How big is my... What do you mean how big? Be more specific. My spear? Uh, that's kind of hard to say. I don't know. I don't know. Depending on the woman's... Uh, circa, uh, <laughs> depending on the woman's... Uh, Yo, yo, TJ. Oh, Southern Samurai. I hope you're having a fantastic time with the main scenario quest of Final Fantasy XIV. And had you fight the big man yet? No, I'm just joking. We don't fight uh, Jabba the Hutt. Um, you ever seen the soaps roll down a, um, a, the crack of a man's ass? Um, the answer is no. I've actually seen um, quite some... Hmm, how can I say this? I've seen a man in his room jerking off to hentai. That I've seen. And I wanted to fucking cry myself because I had to open the door and see that and shut the door and ran off. Well, oh, I'm sorry. I had to Christian bail out of that situation because that was not fun. And hey, Cody, we got you want a hundred fucking dragon fruits. Why the fuck not? You can have whatever the fuck you want. Eat all that fucking fruit. Get all the goddamn energy you fucking need. Get all that dragon energy coming out of your butt. Just finish my job and shroud for Reaper. Yeah, I love in shroud. It's like one of my favorite fucking animations. I don't even care. That's I, I like it better than in release for warrior. I do not care. I don't even care if I can relate warrior fucking in release to sex. If I was fucking coming, you know, coming out of my fucking goddamn body, it's definitely warrior. Where I want to thrust, I'm fucking dragooning that shit. I don't even care at this point. All right, chat commands. Where the fuck? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to go to loyalty, dummy. All right, let's see what other questions we got. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else? You guys can ask me anything you want. I don't even give a shit. I want to have fun. I don't even care. Ask me anything. You, you want to be fucking weird? Go right ahead, because uh, I will. I will. I will take it up a notch. I will take it up a hundred, hundred notches. I don't even give a shit. Ah, uh, it's great. It's fucking great. Let's get weird. <laughs> I'm like, uh, 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 sir. I, I don't think I want to look at that shit. Sir, what kind of hole do you have? Um, sir, I have a square hole. <laughs> it is it is as square as you can get, but it's not a rectangle. Because that means that whole shit stretched out. Okay? God damn. It's not like Denji where he's like kissing the... Uh, uh, it's not like Chainsaw Man where I was watching. Uh, you know, I shouldn't say any spoilers. Let's say this. He tasted some nasty ass vomit. In some fucking ways. That is all I'm going to fucking say right now. It is this. I want to picture that shit drunk. I actually never kissed anybody drunk before, so I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I never did that, so I don't really care. 
Because I'm not a drinking guy. And if I was a drinking guy, then I'll probably be crying in the corner. Possibly just messing myself up in many ways. That's always fun. Alright, come on. Enemy, enemy down. Enemy down here. Oh, man. Come on. We need, we need some, like... We, we really need some other shit. Oh, stretch nuts. Oh, I love stretching nuts. That's always my favorite thing when I need to, like, really take my crap stretching my nuts. And thank you for the, joining the Bucket Man Squad, you sexy motherfucker. Please, I want to stretch all those nuts all the way down to the expansion of Goddamn and Walker, okay? I want to take your existing nuts and stretch it out for more content. That is what we fucking need here. And yes, that is totally... And we say wasabi in this goddamn chat here. Wasabi! That's our greetings in this damn chat. Wasabi! It's always great. Oh, kick in the face, please. That would make me feel good. Actually, I'm just joking. That wouldn't. That would probably be painful. I mean, I wouldn't want, like, Cody's foot, like, hit me in the face so fucking hard that it breaks my jaws. But, okay, I mean, I'll, if, as long as I get the entire steak, I don't give a shit at this point. Ah, welcome, welcome. I like the way that sounds. <laughs> How are we doing? BB. Oh, 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 my BB guns? Oh, uh, we're doing pretty good so far. Um, I was supposed to go do something this morning, but uh, we ended up having... I had, to, had to, I had to do a couple things today, but everything's pretty good, though. We're kind of just uh, playing some 14, training up our lovely new... Uh, lovely new uh, Sprout here, playing some sam Southern Samurai Badassness for a little bit, but we did pretty good. So we're kind of getting some progress. Uh, but otherwise, we're having some fun. We're kind of just messing around currently. <laughs> Not really thinking to myself half the time. <laughs> finding, uh, finding a bunch of lovely holes. Because <laughs> Southern Samurai is a gorgeous man with a gorgeous glamour with probably a scythe, uh, uh, like probably taking the tip of the scythe and probably just, I don't know, piercing my entire neck. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Thank you, but also no. Oh my god, I, where, where else can I fucking go with my weird descriptions? So, I got some of you guys. Some of you guys on Hive. I got some of you guys on Alert currently right now. So that's what I've been trying to do. Uh, try to keep you guys on tab on my computer because at least the computer is the best part about having having a desktop. I could watch everybody through desktop and not have to watch ads because fuck the ads. Hey, Twitch, remove the fucking ads, please. Okay, my okay. You you give me ads all day, and no, not advertisement. I mean fucking disease. For every time you give me ads, you're giving my viewers over your disease. I don't like that. That's not fucking cool. We don't like any of that shit. All right, no, we're not going to the fucking city to go find porn. Okay, we don't we don't need that shit. As much as I would love to see. Elena's ass. See how big that fucking juicy ass goes and it jiggles. I really don't care. I mean, I'm. I don't even give a shit at this point. Oh no, Psyduck with guns. Okay, Psyduck is not is not gonna come out with a gun. He's gonna use confusion with a gun triggered. That is what he's doing. He's using his psychic powers as a psychic duck and just shooting everybody. He don't. He don't give a shit. And then when he evolves, it becomes Golduck, and Golduck gets a fucking light machine gun, and he does not give a shit. He's not blowing through holes in pieces. All right, come on, can we get more guys over here? I don't want to. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm thinking to myself half the time. Ah, <laughs> uh, more holes. What? What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a magic carp. Oh, it's a golden magic carp. Oh, sorry, it's a shiny. Sorry, it's a shiny magic carp. <laughs> Shiny Magikarp. And yes, I know the gold shiny is gold for Magikarp and red for Gyarados. I know that. Uh, what's kind of funny is, uh, speaking of Pokemon, I was playing offline one day and I was looking for a Pokemon for Pokedex. And next thing you know, I find a shiny Marnie. I'm like, yo, I'm done. I I'm not even looking for a shiny at this point. I'm like, okay, I'll catch it. Whatever, I don't even care. It's bullshit, but whatever. It's, it's, total, it's total bullshit at this point. It's great. Pokemon guy, Yu-Gi-Oh guy, I don't, I don't know. 
you know, it'd be kind of funny. And I was, as she was thinking about this for a while, I would like to see a um, a gender bender of dark, a black luster soldier. I hate to say that. Like, instead of Black Lost Soldier being male, I want to see a fucking female version. I want her breast going. I had to scrape my nuts off my thigh to give him a good scrub and then we can hang out and dry beer if that gonna work. Hey, I appreciate it. Did I get my dirty fruities? Yes, you did. I actually added it for you. It's all set. It has been taken care of. I did that while I was on the screen. So you should be all set. You got another hundred dragon fruits. All set. I took care of it. I took care of it for you. It's all set. I understand you. I mean, I mean, I take care of that shit right away. I, I don't stop. Okay, just like my thrusts don't stop. I love my fruits. Yes, you're gonna eat your fruits. You're gonna have your energy. You're gonna be nutritious. You're gonna be a nutritious meal. You're gonna, you're gonna be my nutritious steak, and you're gonna eat some. You're gonna eat some of it. That is how we do things. I do not care. All right, so let's let's keep on rolling with the board. What's what's? You know, I'm not gonna try to give you guys some more shit, but let's let's, let's continue with some odd. Qu you guys can ask me some odd questions. A log ghost, thank you. Welcome to the Bucket Man Squad. You're playing some God of War Ragnarok, and I know you are, but I can't watch that stuff because I haven't even played 2018s yet. So I have the game on my library, but we're gonna have to be playing at some point, which I haven't even touched, which is terrible. And I'm a terrible human being. Uh, for not playing that game yet. I'm like, wow, you have the game, but you haven't played it yet. I'm like, yeah, I like other stuff. Uh, uh, I like birds. Please? Can I get some birds? Can I get some birds? Well, you know, what we, you know what's kind of funny is I, 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 Southern Samurai knows exactly what I'm fucking talking about here, so I'll just kind of say it for a second. I like how when you get a boss fight and it's a fucking phoenix right and you're playing dance dance revolution with the fucking d-pad well so you're, so you're pressing buttons next thing you know the fucking bird goes around it's like i am now a pretty elf woman i'm like yo so this is your true fucking form you got breasts you got breasts and you're a woman yes we are talking about that yes yes Mr. yes southern samurai yes we are going on that route hole okay I want to take that bird lady and my spear is going up its fucking birdie. How can I say this? Uh, birdie birth hole. We are going in that route. I'm going to take my horse spear and it's going down there. It's getting pierced. Jammed. Put that sh put cream cheese on that shit and you're all set. Put your cream cheese on my chicken and my phoenix birds and we're good. I don't even fucking care at this point. You know what's kind of funny is I can't really say like sexy dragons because there's not really any sexy dragons except for, um, I don't know, Kurenai. She's a, well, I know she's an aura, so it's like, you know, half whatever. That's the prettiest one I've seen. I'm not picking Yugiri. No, Yugiri's kind of a, ah, she'll slit your throat. She'll take your throat up a notch with 300 ways of dismantling your entire body with no problems <laughs> you know i don't i don't want i don't i don't want th this big man from I ilmar just to sit on my face and commanding a bunch of stupid ass fucking animals that are basically all colored white my sin ears i don't want that shit to be destroyed okay i don't need that man telling me i'm a fat pig and eat like a fat pig and be a king it's not paradise. It's manipulation at this point. I, I can I can go more and more, but uh, goddamn, I'm I'm going in the weird route right now. Where's my Where's my birds? Oh man, I haven't. It's kind of funny. Is like it's almost been like not less. It's almost it's almost been a little more, not a little less than a week, but like you know, I, I didn't really come on too often. I think I'm like, yeah, hey, we finally finished the game. Finally finished some uh, Pokemon, so I don't have to worry about it. Get, uh, getting the Pokemon trades? Don't get me started on the exclusives, please. Okay, Jesus, what am I doing to myself? Getting the trades was absolute, like, sad. Like, to me, it's it's completely sad. I, I hate having to get trades, and I had no choice. Because once again, like, actually, I'll thank one of my buddies. Uh, Pigu is here. Thank you for the... Uh, 
the assistance on literally trying to get the Pokédex done. It took me, like I said, like, like, like three days sounds about right. There we go. Three, like three days of gameplay sounds about right to me. And getting all the, uh, oh, getting, oh, getting the, uh, Gemigul evolution? Oh, no. Let's not get me started on that shit. I don't like Gemigul. You can kiss my ass. Fuck him. I, I don't care. That is another terrible evolution I don't want to fucking see again. Yeah, can I please get 999 Gemigul coins? I'm like, oh, okay, go F yourself. Thanks. Goddamn. Uh, you guys are awesome. We need to get some, uh... And so I don't raid too often. I, I raid anyways, but sometimes I just don't really find anybody to raid. And so that's been kind of fu funny for the past couple of weeks or a couple months is I just don't have anybody to raid. Usually, or I rate the same people, the same, like, 20 to 25 people, about 95% of the time. Uh, but after that, that's why I usually try to get to somebody new and give them a chance, because why the fuck not? But instead, uh, it's kind of hard to really try to... It's like, you know, it's, the, only, the other thing is, too, is you also have... You're also taking a chance, because that person may not be as grateful as you think. Or actually, not just that, but like, also they don't show that they're extremely fucking grateful. That is the other thing that also worries me. Which, aggravating, which is very, very aggravating. Especially for Ragnar here, my dragon here, just sitting here chilling. He goes, I don't like any of the humans! <laughs> why, why am I talking in nonsense riddles? Yeah, this is my birds, and we're going to destroy. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at all those cornholes. All right, what are we doing here? Like, I'm literally just not paying attention to story at this point. I'm just like, oh, okay. Oh, what the fudge? All right, why, why are you guys running away? You guys are going to get destroyed, okay? We, I don't want you running away from me. Okay, the Bucket Man is going to fuck you up for life, okay? I, I'm going to ask... I, 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 I'm I just going to say this right now, because I'm in a, uh, a group chat, which is kind of hilarious. I'm not going to be mean or anything. Whatever person that in the future has to deal with my dumbass for the rest of their fucking lives, or whatever relationship... You're going to be asked if I can wear a buck in my head while the action is going on. And that's going to suck, and I'm going to fucking laugh my ass off. Because that is my bucket man! I am the bucket man! Destroy! Destruction! Let me show you my entire being. Here you go, sir. Shine Oh, yeah. All right. Hope I didn't miss anybody. No, I didn't miss anybody. I, I actually, uh... Oh, it's the raid. Yeah, we didn't really... Yeah, we didn't miss really anybody. No, I answered everybody's fucking chat so far. You guys have fucking scared the shit out of me, though, the last time. Okay, no, we can't... We can't get up here. There's no way we're gonna get up there. There's no way we're going up here. Okay, like, there's no way... Yeah, no, yeah, no. This ain't gonna work. Wait, why are we... Oh, yeah. We're f this reminds me of, um... It's a Final Fantasy XIV city. It reminds me of that a little bit, but not entirely. I do like the setting, though. All right, let's, uh... What, let me guess. This guy's got a quest, and I don't want to talk to him. Okay, cool. I don't need, like, 600 fucking quests. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta get in here. Which is fine. We don't- we don't care. As you see, the royal palace is to the north. Leticia, I don't know who your fucking voice actor is, but I really don't like her fucking voice. God damn it. It sounds so, like, I don't know, formal? Formal's probably- I don't like the formal type of setting. Makes me kind of like, mm. 
That's even more oh my god, what is that? Oh, they're oh, are they like they look like rabbits on steroids? Nah, no, I don't I don't know what they are, honestly. I can't believe all these people know Leticia. Oh my god, my daughter's been caught. No, your daughter has not been caught. Uh. I appreciate the warm reception, Neon. I heard a little excursion from Commander Theo, my heart. Whatever were you thinking, Sir Albert? Her Highness had a very good reason. Did you truly think you're oh, wow. capable of protecting the princess? A one man Was I not talking the whole fucking time? So I'll be pissed. We have brought Leticia back. Nah, I think I was. I think I was fine. What's more, this recklessness on her part was not in vain. As of this moment, all she has accomplished is worrying me near to death. <sighs> ah, yay. Yeah. Precisely why I hate the royal palace. Where do you think you are off to? Leaving. I can give your arm a proper examination. Come when you are ready. Yes. Who in heavens is that man? How dare he speak in such a manner before royalty? He means no offense. That is Maester Midas Felgreed. Please show him the utmost respect. Midas... Uh, Midas Felgreed? Him? I apologize for my long absence from the royal palace, Neon. But I would ask a favor Yay. regarding the matter Commander Theo brought to your attention. Uh, perhaps you speak of the prisoner we captured near Baldur. Oh, birds! Huh. Might these be the strange companions I've heard the princess has been traveling with? Without the aid of these two, my journey would have been all the more arduous. Yes, please. The kingdom owes them a debt of gratitude. How about she's like, no, you're foolish. Very well, Princess Leticia. I will send word to notify the general of your safe return. No need. Let us first arrange a meeting that these two may be swiftly reunited with their ally. But your highness, it... I was led to understand yeah. that none were aware of my absence prior to Commander Theo's report, yes? Yeah, what? What? Surely news of my return can be delayed. What is she fucking? She's pulling something out of her fucking ass. I see. Very well, princess. It may yet take some time, however, as the prisoner is currently being held in the Baldar Citadel. You must arrange for her immediate release. I understand your urgency, but I cannot make any immediate promises that the prisoner will be set free. We can discuss the matter further. If you would follow me to the council chamber. Alright. The guy's like, just like... At least she's not gonna sound like an entitled princess. You had the wherewithal not to speak up back there. Well, I know Leticia and Theo will keep their promise. If I had butted in, it likely would have just complicated matters. I will have to admit, I was Yay. you were on the verge of opening your mouth. You Anything I might have said would have failed in comparison to how she handled it. Yeah, because she can she she's like royal house, so let her do the talking. Indeed. We lead up to the second floor. Oh no, not in these rooms. Fuck these rooms. Nobody likes these rooms. Oh, have you not heard? His Majesty is leading the frontline defense of the Baldar. Yes, I'm drinking fucking Arizona. Is anybody's goddamn asking me? Your king on the front line. The royal standard is on display above the Baldar Basilica to indicate His Majesty's presence. It serves as a warning. The Imperials know there will be a reckoning if they attack now. Nothing set in stone. But can we turn this all around with Midas's help? I mean, he was one of the three wise men. Do not speak as if years of history and tension can be undone in a single night. Breaking off current formation just for Maester Midas would serve as nothing more than an invitation for the Empire to commence their attack. Okay. Letty, tell me something. What exactly is it you intend to ask of Midas in the first place? If you are considering playing a good old gold peak is better um i tried gold peak and i don't like gold peak i never i never just like it's too it's too sweet for me i always get half and half because it's like it's kind of like it's very less on sugar honestly i i've i've had regular arizonas too they're fine or whatever but i tried gold peaks 
not really my thing. Too much sweet tea. Uh, uh. Oh my god. It was awful. Ray, Elena, I cannot guarantee your safety. You must understand, my hands are tied until the tensions at Baldar ease. I hear where you're coming from, but you're talking like the war's already begun. What would you know? Well, if left unchecked, spies could run amok, raise cities to the ground. But if espionage on the home front was such a chief concern, why would the king be sent to the front lines? I can't do the green leaf or whatever it's called. Green leaf, I don't like green leaf either. Green leaf is not. I don't like green leaf. Is it, I mean, if anything, I just always, I've always pick, I always pick water, seltzer water, or um, or even Arizona's. That's the only three things I drink. Uh, every once in a while, I'll have the soda, but I don't really drink soda too often, just because how obviously soda's bad for you, and I just don't drink soda like it. But I like sweet tea. No, I, I respect that, and that's cool. You know? I found some way to, like, because honestly, at the time, I was drinking, like, five or six cans of Mountain Dew a day. Like, I would go through half a 12-pack within a whole day. And this was I was, like, 17. And obviously, I, I had to some way get myself out of it, so I ended up having to tone down, drink something else in place of that. So I drank Arizona since then, and... Uh, not six cans, at least like one can or something like that now. So it, it, over time, it, it got better for me. So which is fine, you know. It would take me like two weeks to drink like four gallons of those, which is fine. I don't really care. Two weeks. I drink mainly just seltzer water. I bring it to work. It's great. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. It's great, though. Uh, I, I was honestly... Cody, I love you and all, but I was not expecting that. <laughs> I was, I was just, I was ready to chill, play game chill, and kind of just get on my groove. And I, and I never expected the raid come comes out of me. I, I remember, I can't remember the last time I had more than like ten people on a raid. I think that was like two years ago. Uh, what was it like last year? Somebody, I was playing a uh, Crash Four or something like that, and somebody just randomly raid. I'm like, uh, uh. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do right now, and I felt like that was kind of coming too. I was like, oh shit. That's why I too, I'd barely drink Mountain Dew. I'm more of it. I like Dr Pepper. I like Dr. I like every kind of soda. Every soda is fine for me, honestly. I drink all of them. They're they're um, they weren't they're not too bad. Uh, orange soda. Grape soda, I barely see grape soda sometimes. Um, I've had dragon fruit Fanta. That one's kind of, that was okay-ish. Sprite's cool. So, I I can't, I, I just don't drink soda as much as I used to. I can't. So now I just kind of chill with, uh, I don't know, just kind of used to now just drinking water and seltzer water and Arizona's all day and that's it. If I'm out somewhere, I get a water, and that's it. I'm, I'm like, what? I'm like, yeah, I just get water, because who cares? Like, it, it's H2O, okay? It's my chemical H2O. My body needs H2O. Oh, yeah, I, I love root beer, too. Uh, root beer is also awesome. Uh, you might haven't had in a very long time, if I have to be honest. Root beer floats. Like, root beer floats. I've actually had... Um, Rupia Floats is good. I love uh, more than anything. Like, I would say also like Icy's. Like, I haven't had Icy's. Like, obviously where I, where I am, like, there's not too many places that have ice machines. I went to the movie theater. I was watching a new One Piece movie. And and I didn't, I never saw a watermelon flavored Icy. I was like, screw it. I'll get the Icy and pop some popcorn and just call it a day. Um, I do have to buy, oh no. I got to buy a ticket for that for the uh, quintessential quintuplets anime movie I want to watch so bad too. And I have to drive, I think I can 45 minutes in just to get to the theater I need to go to. Yeah, I, I found it in a random movie theater one day. I was like, yo, that's sick. You know, I love it. I, I love it. I, uh, that sounds good. Um, wait, what the, who the fuck are you? Who's this fucking weirdo? They look like I don't know. 
Alan, I, I, Alan, you have. You know what? I'm I'm going into like a weird thought right now. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, everything's for like all that shit's so good. But I just kind of like I just, I have to tone it back a bit because. <laughs> I think when it comes to food and everything, there's too much of something becomes a problem. Like too much meat is a problem. Too much veggies is a problem. Too much junk food's a problem. Uh, too much soda's a problem. Too much water's a problem. If you intend to risk or, I'm not gonna say not, not too much water, but you get what I'm trying to say. I try to do like a little variety, so it's not. I'm just kind of like balance almost everything out, but not like that's that, that doesn't help. This is not up for debate. I, I'm a I'm a crazy person. Okay, my mind is running at 600 miles per hour. I don't even know what to do with myself. Like half the stuff I want to do, like or I want to say, it will just blow through it, and I'll just move on to. I'll skip like three or four pages. <laughs> Like, if you put me at 100 pages, and I'm sk somehow I'm skipping four pages every 10 minutes, you, I'm gonna miss some shit. I have a problem eating candy. Candy? I don't really eat candy. For, for some reason, I just don't buy candy. Like, I literally just don't. Like, I don't buy candy. Like, I have, I have snacks. Like, I'll eat, like, uh, Pop-Tarts or, um... I, haven't, I mean, honestly, I don't like eating Pop-Tarts too often. I like granola bars. Um, the quicker ones are okay. Try to think what else. Um, I eat Cliff Bars, which I seen Cliff Bars. They're not as what I'm reading online. Like Cliff is not a good brand for like protein. I guess like so I, I know some are like, oh it's a protein bar. Oh blah blah. I'm like well first of all uh, it doesn't it has like a high amount of it's not it's not high in high in protein and low in sugar or some shit. Uh, I I eat the clip builder bars like usually on I usually eat the protein bars usually on doubles when I'm working at it, when I'm working or something like that, <laughs> which I'm okay with. I've had um I had chocolate, Ch chocolate chip cookie dough was not that bad. Now I'm gonna I just ordered uh cookies and cream once it comes in. That'll be a fantastic time to fucking have. Uh, but, but anyways, but when it comes to candy, I have I don't really eat candy too often. I just don't. The, oh, the, actually, the only other time I'll have it is when one of my coworkers does bring candy. I'll have like, like he brought fruit gushers, like a whole bag of it. I was like, hey, can I have, can I have one, you know, fruit, one of each fruit gusher? He goes, sure, okay, I'll eat that, but then that's it. Like I won't go anymore because I just don't eat candy. Like I like ice cream. Oh, if anything, if anybody, if, I, if anything, I have a problem with it's fucking ice cream. Ice cream, I fucking just drool on the floor for like an hour like I'm a pig just ready to eat some, I don't know, eat some good appetite shit for the pig. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. Alright, ooh, swords, there we go. Uh, where's the door? Alright, there we go. Where I need some armor. Alright, buddy, can you buy me some armor, please? I need some better armor. All right, we got uh, we got the Druid Sword. Yes, that's better. What flavor? Oh, oh, ice cream. Um, we I like multiple flavors of ice cream, so I I can eat anything. So any I I'm not really if it, if there's anything I'm not a fan of, I'm not a huge fan of for some reason i've had mint i've had mint uh mint chocolate chip and it's fine for some reason i ate it on a protein bar and it just doesn't take I, I just don't like the minty taste i ate it like you know i ate the rest of the box i just don't like it personally but i think it's just because also again it's not ice cream it's like a like a protein bar i'm like yeah no uh that 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 shit sounds like ass top three Oh no, ice cream that, oh no, don't, don't put me in this position. I don't want any of my top three ice creams. Um, mm, damn, you gotta give me some time to think about that one. What's your top three? That's my good one. I'm not gonna take yours or anything. Um, what I get from where, um, the one at my, there's a local creamery down the street where I am. Uh, there's this fire all the time. Um, I get... Reese's, Reese's. Actually, I like Reese's. Um, if I have to go with like not just chocolate, but like other stuff. Um, 
Oh, strawberry cheesecake ice cream's fucking bomb. Love that shit. I do not care. And uh, blueberry cheesecake. So, actually, no, that's the same category. So I'll go with Reese's, blueberry cheesecake, and I, I need to think of something else. Something that's not, doesn't combine those two flavors. Um, that's chocolate, that's chocolate. Um, damn. Damn. I like Moose Tracks. Moose Tracks is fire. I love Moose Tracks. Moose Tracks is good. I love Moose Tracks. Moose Tracks is always fire. Like, goddamn. Alright, we need to... I need, I need armor, damn it. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. Um, I don't know what my third one will be. I, I really don't know. If maybe, like, Raspberry Sherbert. Actually, the... the um, Dairy free sh um, raspberry sherbet. That's the other one that's really good too. I actually bought one for uh, no, I lied. It might chips including an armental cherry. Oh, uh, I never, I don't. Thanks. Oh, that, that sounds fire, honestly. I, I, like I said, I'll eat anything. I'll eat any, I'll eat mostly anything. There might be a few exceptions. That's because I just don't like texture. Um, for some reason, you can call me an asshole. I don't like nuts. It's not, I mean, I don't like nuts, but I don't mind nuts. Like, I just don't like a whole, like, a whole ice, like, a whole, like, not a whole plate of nuts, but, like, whole, um, like, for example, if you give me, like, a banana, like, see, a banana bread, uh, banana bread with nuts in it, I wouldn't eat it because it always has a fuck ton of nuts. And I just don't like texture. So with like the texture of nuts just kind of bothers me. Like I don't like, I don't, like when I eat a bread, I just like chewing on it like it's soft. I don't like, I don't like chunks. I don't like that, but that, that, that like, I don't know. It's kind of me though. All right, what am I doing? Oh yeah, party. So equipment. Yeah, we're getting rid of that. Uh, you're getting a better sword because who gives a shit? That's always great. That's always great. Oh, Midas, what the fuck, man? Just buy your fucking staff. Fucking asshole. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I, again, I don't really care for nuts. Like, it's not like I'll eat it, but I'm not going to really enjoy it. Like I would enjoy it, you know, it's, it's, I just I don't like I just like the bananas and shit. I'm just not a nut guy. I don't know. I'm just not a nut guy. I never, I never, I, I try to, I try so many times. I tried in so many different ways. I just don't like it. All right. We got some heavy armor. Ooh, dragon scale armor. What the fuck is this? It looks sick. All right. So. Yeah, see, I, I'm not saying, like, everything, but, like, I'm not entirely picky on texture, but, like, something with nuts gives me, like, a fucking awkward texture. Let me try to think of, like, a really good example. Um, when it comes to food, like, I'll eat scallops, I'll eat shrimp. Um, white fish is fine, I guess. I don't care about that. Uh, salmon, no thanks. I don't want to eat that, God, no thanks. <laughs> I don't want to eat that. No thanks. Uh, I'll eat any kind of meat... Which I'm okay with. Um, I've eaten tofu. I've eaten sushi. Mexican food's fucking fire. I don't care. Uh, guacamole. Although, guacamole. It has to be fucking homemade. I do not buy guacamole from the store. It is disgusting. It's like I'm eating fucking diarrhea sometimes. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Call me a weirdo, but shit. Fried catfish. Never had that. Thanks. I've had lamb. I've had lobster. Lobster. I, I don't. I don't know. Lob, something with lobster is different. It's it hits different. I'm from uh actually where I live. We actually are known for our seafood. Like down here. We're, well, up here where I live, we're known for our fucking seafood. It sounds stupid on paper, but it's true. All right. What are we doing? Oh yeah, we're selling our. We don't need that. 
We don't need this. We don't need this. All right. Get rid of the old bell. That's fine. Thanks. What? What do you mean, what? Never had what? Lobster? We never had lobster before? Well, here's the difference. Like, what I know, like, some states, in the, some states, I understand there's, like, some seafood places, but, like, you know, like, they're obviously, like, a corporate chain. Uh, but you guys get frozen food. We, we obviously, up here, we have to have, like, obviously, fresh fucking seafood. Scallops and all that shit. Uh, Ryan, it's, it's fucking, gr oh, my God. Like, I've had, like, a couple of, like, couple of seafood platters or whatever, and when I look at, like, clams, little necks, mussels, I, I kind of just gag, like, eh, like, I, I can't eat that. I, I, I just can't. Like, my, my grandfather, before he died, oh, he would eat that. I can't. I never had catfish. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know any, but any place where I live actually sells catfish. I never even had it, so I don't know. Like the only closest thing we could probably, I could probably am doing is probably get seafood on a cruise ship. Probably only I'm ever gonna do that, and that's probably uh, that's gonna be a while, because um, for some reason my family likes to do the whole um, go on a cruise thing, and somehow I get dragged into it, and then we get some weird food going on. And I'm like, oh, great. I want sushi because I really want sushi like that bad. Someone like sushi just hits me in the fucking face sometimes. H oh, hibachi in general. I love like Asian food. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just a fucking weeb. I don't know. All right, seriously, what am I doing? All right. Uh, you know what? what? All right. We were kind of wondering what the fuck equipment I have on my other party. That is my other question. All right. You got split mail. So we should okay. So Nina's got mage gear. Okay, so two mage gears and three of okay. Yeah, three of these. Okay, cool. Yeah, that sh that that shit's always good. I mean, besides food, um, I I everybody's gonna ask me, do you drink alcohol? Um, I've had. Traditional beer. Uh, please don't give, don't, don't say wine. I hate wine. Oh, Strutna, you want 50 dragon fruits. Why the fuck not? You deserve 50 dragon fruits. All right, let's see if I can get your name correctly. All right, so let's see. Stretch. Nuts. All right, what are these numbers again? Two, uh, two, one, two. Got it. All right, here's your 50 points. That is taken care of. You are all set. Favorite barbecue? Uh, barbecue. I don't get barbecue too often. Um. Ah, uh, damn. I like brisk. Yeah, I don't like to drink. Alcohol is is not my thing. I I don't understand. Like maybe it's just me because. For me, I just don't like alcohol. Like, I, I can't... I, I look at other people when they get all fucked up. And all kinds of shit happens to them. And then now they're dealing with the consequences. So I'm just like, I want to actually have, like, control of my actions. So I'm not going to drink myself. You know, just for shits and giggles. Plus, it's also like, it would probably kill me. Or kill my liver and all that shit. You know, overall, I'm like, yeah, I like to actually have. All right, what is this? What did I see? Three? Did I see three of these, right? Yeah, I think I said three. Okay, there we go. Yep, and then. Yeah, and then, yep, then there's two of these, yep. There we go. Hopefully I got this correct. I, I hope I don't remember freaking everything else. Ah, uh, meow. Hey, welcome, welcome. I liked it so much, but now I'm fixing fixing my fuck up for not worth it. Definitely. See, I, that's like honestly like my parents. My family is. I'm not. That's. I'm not saying they're alcoholics, but they love alcohol. 
They're not alcoholics, but they love alcohol. I just came around. I'm like, I don't really drink. But I like the greenery. I gotta get that sometimes. Uh, but anyways, uh, welcome, uh, Mar Marigold. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a uh, awesome rest of your night. All right, let's get let's get some of this equipment on here because I'm forgetting shit. Meow, meow, meow. Uh, we don't have any cats yet. No, my cat is a bad cat. All right, all right. Dragon scale mail. You got this, right? Uh. What? Wait, I, I thought I bought a chess piece. Yeah, I did. I, I was like, wait, I thought I bought a ch No, there are some bad cats. Just like there's bad dogs, too. There's every- there's, there's always bad at something. My- I had a- what's kind of funny is- I'll speak my animal for a second. So, I- I was- for Thanksgiving this year, I was- my family went to Virginia, and I didn't go because I had work. Because I already took the week off uh, prior, like, two weeks before I went to Comic-Con. So, they left. It was a Wednesday night they left. Uh, Wednesday morning or whatever. They left. I had, literally, it was just me and the cat. Right? And the cat didn't have any problems with it. Everything was good. Now, now, this is where it gets good. So, on Saturday night, or no, Sat oh, Saturday or Sunday, I forget which day it was. I was pretty much sure it was Sunday. I'm cleaning the house, like, a little bit. I'm cleaning the house, mainly. For my parents to get home. So, okay, hey, I already cleaned the house. You know, whatever. Who cares? Um, so, this fucking happens. I hate my, my... The only thing I don't like about my cat is my cat eats the fuck... My cat eats plants. For some reason, she eats the plants. Like, it aggravates the shit out of me. She eats the fucking... Because, obviously, when she eats the plants, she starts, like... It's not vomit. It's, like, food she eats. Like, it's like you're chewing food, then you spit it out. It's literally that. I'm like, oh, my God. Come on. Like, come on. You're killing me over here. Like, God damn it. Ooh, thanks. It's, it's what... Like, I, I'm like... Oh. Now I gotta clean it, now I gotta clean it, now I gotta clean it. Oh my god. Always fucking hate it. Anyways, uh, oh, thank you for the, uh, lurk. You can type in, um, you can type in lurk in chat. I appreciate the lurk. Hope you, I hope you have a, uh, awesome rest of your night, Stretch Nuts. And thank you for stopping in and for the chats. Um, I hope to see you more often. The thing I could say, but uh, no big deal. Well, uh, obviously we're on the hive. We all support each other. I'm cool with that. Well, for some reason, Mary Gold, my cat eats plants. And she does it. And we tell her to stop, and she doesn't because she's dumb. If we travel straight south through these so, serious planes, we will she don't care at this point. All right. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, there's a, there's a rabbit! Rabbit! Come here! Yay! We got a we got a bunny! Yay! We got a bunny now. All right, is Midas in our party for this part? Oh my God! Where the hell? Where's Midas? Where the fuck did he go? I know he said he hates the fucking city. I know he said he hates the fucking city because he's full of rich people and all that dumb crap. Really not safe for cats to be eating plants. Some plants could possibly... Well, luckily my mom doesn't bring, like, dangerous plants in the house. But for... I don't know why she does it. Like, my stepfather brings, like, fig trees. And whatever. And for some reason, my cat just likes to, like, lay in the stupid plant, the, the dirt in the plant, or sometimes she'll fucking just ch chew a piece of it. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? So, it aggravates the crap out of me, yes. Like, I, 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 and luckily, it's, I mean, it's my mom's cat, and I love her to death. Like, she's very, she's more like, she actually is more open to, like, you know, give her, let me pick her up than other cats. Don't get me wrong. But again, here's the downfall. She eats, she keeps eating plants for some reason. I kind of, I wish I knew fucking knew why. All right, what am I doing? Uh, 
Where am I going for this? Uh, I don't know what kind of cat she is. She's like a tabby. I want to say she's like a like a traditional tabby short hair cat. I want to say. Like, I'm not saying like all cats are dumb, but like, obviously, I'm saying like, depending on the cat you have, you know, really, it really just depends, you know, like I like, obviously, I had a cat uh, two, two, three years ago. His name was Jasper. I love Jasper. Jasper was such a good Maine Coon cat. We had him. We got him for free. And actually, he's he's actually my favorite cat uh, we've ever had, like our, our favorite animal. I love Zoe too, our little dash out. That was my first dog. Um, but I was a much different person then than, you know. A Sphinx? Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, oh. Uh, I Sphinxes are adorable. But I think also just like with hey, just like with cats and dogs, you know, depending on the breed and type of animal you get, you know, breed you get too as well, because depending on the characteristics of you know of that of that breed. You can get a good cat or a terrible cat, you know? Which kind of sucks, but that's just how it is. I don't think that, too, like, me and my grandfather were kind of, like, just talking about for a second. Is... I don't like how, like... I, I love... I, I, It's much as I like, like cats are cool. I like dogs more. At least dogs are loyal, in a sense. Like, they, they, they would be, like, obviously, they would... They kind of like soothe my. I see. I've seen. I see them more often. I see the good ones. They like being around people. Yeah, exactly. I. I again. I agree with you on that statement. But for me, a dog actually gives me less anxiety than a cat does. Like, like I said, I've done. I had both different types of animals. I've had a frog. I've had a dog. I've had more cats than a dog. But I noticed like a dog actually does gives me actually less like. It actually calms me down more. I don't, I don't know what it is. But it might be me, though. It might be just my preference, you know? Which, I mean, if somebody likes cats, I'm cool with that. Always, I'm always cool with cats. I just don't like to... I, I don't know. Like, like I said, I have my opinion. I'm cool with that. You know? I don't think our animals are dumb. I think it's just depending on like how that animal is raised in one environment you know yeah you see exactly see me me and you are total opposites but like i said i respect your opinion i think really to, if you get it like a big dog and depending on the breed of the dog like i i, I could, you know i'll tell you guys a really um a fascinating not a fascinating story but like a story that my not my uncle uh one of my uncles a while back he had he still has that same german shepherd that german shepherd yeah, if you guys don't know german shepherds are really fucking intelligent and of course they they're god dogs you know but of course my uncle is a mean motherfucker me motherfucker he's always been that fucking person so guess what the fucking dog is dogs fucking mean barks bites people attacks people and all that shit of course you know so, I'll see, and I'll see, I would probably feel bad for the dog because that dog is being put in the household that the, the human is a fucking asshole. It sucks. It really does. But too, like, I also like, for cats, like, I don't like to touch other people's cats or anything. You know, because obviously the cat's just not, you know what I mean? Like, depending on, like, you know, if it's your first time, I wouldn't be near that cat in the first place. Aw, uh, puppers. Uh, dogs are adorable. I love dogs. Dogs are awesome. Dogs are awesome in their own way, you know? Um, yeah, what's kind of funny is, too, um, I was saying this. It's a cute caval uh, Cavalier King Charles Spain. Oh, I know what those are. I know exactly what those are. I am Albert Knight of the King's Guard and Bodyguard to Her Highness Leticia Osarius. We seek audience with Captain Bertrand, head of the Baldar forces. <laughs> this is the permit entrusted us by Chancellor Neon Kazog, advisor to the Corps. Okay, Albard. Your Highness, pray forgive me. Pardon the mistrust. You may enter the Citadel as you please. 
His royal majesty awaits you at the strong gets along pretty well with our cat too which is good yeah see i like that see like usually a dog and a cat will not get along but like you know there are some like rare cases where they do get along you know i mean dog's a dog you know i think mainly like cats are just meaner at times like they're they're just mean when they want to dogs dogs i wouldn't really think that i think they're just obviously you got either an animal with a bad attitude but smart or you get a really dumb dog but you know it's affectionate i don't know that's kind of like, also the double-edged sword on both sides but again there's also that also that other way around as well you know like my uh my old dog and my my I mean, jasper didn't fight at all because my dog was small why she had a little wiener dog it's great is not the sky over a serious the same shape oh yeah no I, no I bet I bet for you guys yes but it might be different for other people I it also depending on that person as well you know I'm not I'm not doubting that but my grandparents cat actually uh just try to scratch me once and obviously that's the sister of my cat i have right now like they're sisters it's it's weird but again i'm not you know i don't i'm not always around over there all the time you know actually yeah most of the, i've been you been around over there a lot now because uh i give my i give uh i take food for uh i take food from work uh from work sometimes when um when there's like extra food laying around i even have to give it to my grandparents because most of the time uh right now during this recession uh not recession but during like inflation shit i just give it to them because they just money might be tight sometimes so i just do that to be a good good grandson when needed uh not trying to sound fucking selfish oh yeah uh leia's a good friendly with people oh i bet she is again i bet she is i'm not doubting that but i i, I think honestly too is also like experience so, like if i experience like a cat that's mean like not just once but but, but like constant different cats you know, then it's like, okay, but what's the type of cat? Wherever some of my sister's friends came over, thanks to didn't ride or hide, and you should try to scratch for any of them. And that and that's good too. That's that's good you know, that's good as well. That's always good. Alright, what am I doing? Oh, we gotta go to ballist this weird place. I forgot what I was doing there for a second. I like animals. I just don't want to own one. That's all. I love animals. I just don't want to own an animal. That's all it is. That's all it really comes down to. Where is my father? He awaits with him. We have just concluded our usual strategy meeting. Sir Albert and the rest of your party may enter as well. Um, so what are we doing? Are we just meeting the king now? My her daddy? Sorry to intrude. Pray forgive my long and selfish absence. <clears throat> ah, yes. Full glad am I to see you Why is he wearing like a unicorn fucking circlet? I apologize. It looks dumb. My current whereabouts must have caused you. Might I entreat you to introduce me to your allies? Of course, father. They have been invaluable companions on my journey. This is Sir Raymond. <clears throat> Lady Elena and Lady Nina. Rise, friends. I owe you much for helping my. Huh? Uh, might you be Filberto's daughter? You remember me, Your Majesty? As if one could forget. Is Marcus well? He is. Still alive and kicking. Um, I don't, Nina, I, I, your character might not be terrible, but I hate your weapon. Your weapon's terrible. Nina Forge has discovered a cure for Helgar's disease. Can it be true? Well, um, not all by myself. I, uh, got a lot of help from Dad, uh, my father, Dr. Marcus, Ray, and Elena. I have also brought Maester Midas Felgreet to the royal city. Midas has come back? We may have no assurance of his cooperation, but the Maester's return 
Lady Nina's Yay. discovery of the cure for Helgars and the safe passage of both myself and Albert to the royal city. All would not have been possible without the help of Sir Raymond and Lady Elena. Hmm. Is that so? Thank you for going to such lengths to aid my daughter. Nah, no prob. Pray. Pray forgive him, your majesty. You are too generous. Father, if you would truly thank these two, I beseech you. Raymond's friend, Chloe Canaris, is being held here in Baldar. She was imprisoned under suspicion of acting as an Imperial agent. Please grant her release. I will see to it she is released immediately. Bertrand. Leticia has brought us a veritable mountain of good tidings. Oh, yay. Glad am I to hear it. Oh, okay, sir. So. Hmm. What will you all do from here on? We do not intend to impose any longer than we already have. We shall return to the royal city as soon as Chloe is released. Night has nearly fallen, so it might be best to depart come morning. Allow us to see to your sleeping arrangements. Assuming the worst were to happen... Wouldn't civilians like ourselves only get in the way? Okay, okay, Ellen, you're thinking fucking logically here. And they may be watching. I, I, I love Thanksgiving. Even now, as we speak. <laughs> Marigold, you still around? Broad daylight will certainly prove a boon if that be the case. Let me know if you're still here, Mary. Marigold. I do have a question though. It may not be wise to exert All right, so I have a question, and just let me fill you, let me know your thoughts. Uh, let me just finish this uh, dialogue, and we can kind of just uh, get through shit. We will do as you say. Captain Bertrand, please inform the guards to release Chloe at once, and see to it that Leticia and her friends have a place to rest their heads. Right away, Your Majesty. All right. All right. Let me pause here for a second. All right. So, Marigold, let me know your opinions. Oh, ooh. Okay. Don't mind that. That was a ruler. Um, so, I'm working on right now um, getting some merch, but we have a sample right now, so I'm not going to do it right away. But what do you guys What do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments. We have a Bucket Man, the Bucket Man shirt. If you guys can't see it, let me know. This is the front. And this is the back. All right, let me know. Uh, let me know how you how you guys what do you guys think about it? That's all I wanted to show up. That's up. That's pretty cool. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Figured I was a little creative. Shall we away to the dungeon? I dare say the matter should resolve. I'm glad I, I just try I like I like having some like a second opinion usually because I, I, I I'm only like one of mine, you know So Once we uh, get a really good quality uh, shirts sure bucket man's awesome <laughs> Bucket man's awesome uh, Once we kind of find like a good um, Find like a vendor to um, able to sell shirts like that uh, I'll be actually open to um, sending orders So you're telling me so if anybody wants to buy one, uh, just actually let me know. If anybody's interested. Hang in there, Chloe. We're, like I said, we're working on trying to find like the best quality right now. I don't, I, I don't like, I don't like, uh, I don't like more than anything is giving you guys something crappy, and I don't like that idea. All right, where am I doing? Oh yeah, down here. Uh, oh, we gotta, why are we doing all the way down here? The bucket man. The bucket man. She is being held in the cell on the end. There she is. Chloe. Alright, oh, we're finding the person. Although I might want to think about selling those shirts of riding cars. Alright, so here's the issue with your statement. It's me, all right. Not your statement, but your opinion on that. The problem is Black is going to be the best color to kind of like show everything. Like I can like technically like black would be perfect because honestly it is already you can't I can't go green because like the colors don't really match. You know what I mean? 
a black shirt would be perfect, for example. Or actually a white shirt would be kind of decent too, but once again, um, a lot of the artwork is I'm wearing white on the shirt already. Uh, green? Oh, somebody said that and they said no, green doesn't look right. It wouldn't look right, they said. They said green doesn't look good. Chloe, stop crying. Don't worry. Purple. Help is on the way. Purple will be kind of uh Purple will be questionable, honestly. And you're stuck with me till then. Like I said, depending on uh what we can get from the vendor. Um we'll get we'll definitely get a pull up at some point, but we're gonna get a lot of people in first so we can actually get some accurate results. <laughs> Because uh, when anybody wants one, I have to ship it out, of course. We could do third party. Uh, but once again, I'm not satisfied. I don't like the quality of these shirts. I don't like the quality of it, is what I'm saying here. And I don't want you guys getting some bad quality shirts. I don't want that. I want you guys to get the best of the best, if possible. Yes, your highness. Her language is unknown to us. So communication has been difficult. That should be of no further concern. With Ray or I around, you should be able to understand her just fine. Hey, uh, now that you mentioned um, it, how are you and Ray speaking our language if you came from the sky? Because we... There are a number of reasons. Sorry for the imposition, Nina. But would you kindly assist me in examining Chloe? Um, so... It really depends. Now, some people... How can I say this? I'm trying to think how to word this uh, carefully. Um, I it also, like, you also have to, as you think about it too, is you have to add shipping costs. So... The, the whole point, like, for me, like, to sell these is to not make money on them, but to kind of advertise... If you get what I mean, we might do hoodies anyways. I think hoodies might be better. Now nah, we're not we're not going. I'm not going to go that high. The only thing that's going to be added on top of that is going to be shipping for a lot of you guys. That's not from this state. You guys do will have to pay for the shipping on top of that. But I'm not going to like go. I was told by my grandfather uh, different advice. But once again, this is my first time, so I'll keep costs low. So, maybe I'll make $2 instead of nothing. I'd rather make less money and you guys get something out of it. Just for the first time going around, since you guys have been awesome. So, so for example, when I, let's say for example, um, this shirt cost me uh, $20, $20.60. Let's say just to get this alone. Then I would say, okay, Shipping is going to be, you know, five, six dollars. OK, 27. You guys game for 27 because I seen shirts on Etsy. They're like 30 bucks or some shit because include including shipping. I'm just like, holy shit. No. So we're definitely going to keep it low for sure. Uh, just for right now, probably for the first few, depending on if depending on if it hits. No, 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 not two bucks for a shirt. Like, basically, whatever it costs me. Whatever it costs me to get the shirt and shipping. I'll add two dollars to that just to keep to myself. That is what I'm saying. So, for example, if the shirt is $20.60 to sell. And shipping is obviously, like I said, you know, let's say five bucks. Okay, there's $25 right there, but I'll say 27. So... I'm just saying as an example, I'm not saying that's what it is, but I'm just saying as an example, that would be kind of, you know what I mean? Please feel free to use this like, instead of just, yeah, like some people are, they're just like, oh, let's inflate the price. I wouldn't want to inflate the price. I would probably at least like, look, let me just make $2 off this and you guys can have what you want. Cause that, cause the very first thing, that's why I'm doing vendors first, finding the best quality shirts that you guys are purchasing with your hard earned money. Because at the end of the day, corporations do not care about us. They hate us so much. 
And at the end of the day, too, is also earning your trust as a customer. Or any of you guys that buy shirts. I want to earn, you tr I want to earn your trust more than anything. That is key to anything. I do not care. A show, I don't care. We're on here having fun. Who gives a shit? So, in a way, these shirts are just meant for advertisement. That is all it's meant for. So, once we'll figure it out, though, once we get to that in the future. Once we get to that in the future, we'll be fine. such sincerity coming from Well, Albert, even I can be sincere when I need to be. Is basically what I'm saying. Don't worry. We still intend on helping however we can with Midas. You aren't getting us out of your hair that easily. Um, in that case, may I speak with you about something? All right, what do you, what, Leticia, what do you got to tell me now? Hey, Albert. Albert, might I ask you to assist Elena and Nina? Of course, your highness. Yeah. Please try not to wander off too far. Shut up, Albert. He, she's fine. She's in... See what her highness has to say. What? Thank you, Albert. So, what is it you want to talk about? Not just yet. Let us converse once we reach the east end of the citadel. Uh, okay. She's not... All right, so basically we gotta talk to her private. East end of the citadel. I think I remember seeing a path to the northeast. But yeah, that's the plan, pretty much. I'll let you guys know when we're open. I'll let you guys know. But I figured you guys should see it first. <laughs> oh, hey, we got some, uh, we got some, we got some stuff being worked on right now. Or we, I'll let you guys know when it's gonna happen. All right, come on. She wanted to see me. All right, come on. We need to like advice or something. Guess I won't know till I get there. We need to go all the way over here. All the way in this corner. I must have up with this place. <laughs> Nothing is up, as you say. Please follow me. Um, okay. Yes, ma'am. Are we there yet? We've been hiking for ages. It has not been that long. We are almost there. Just don't take us anywhere that's gonna piss off Albert. <laughs> you are not the one who need fear his wrath. Uh, it's not just Albert I'm worried about. If your father found out, he might put Chloe back into custody. Come now. Father would never. We are near. What? What are we doing? Alright, what is going on? What is this shit? Wow, what a view. Indeed. I love coming here. Huh. Aren't we on Vale Empire soil? When I was old oh, enough to understand the words of my elders, the kingdom of Osarius and the Vale Empire were already at odds. Every time I come here, I would always wonder why. Why must the same people under the same sky always be fighting one another? Because it's human nature. If it makes you feel any better, uh, even people living above this sky are constantly fighting. Because it's human nature once again. Shame. Because people suck. The royal family of Osirius and the imperial line of Vale were once tied together by marriage. And now they can't. Theo's mother's sister, his aunt, was empress and wife to emperor. The front ruler of Vale. Wow. Really? When Helgar's disease enveloped this world 15 years ago, she became afflicted and eventually died. And it was then that relations between my kingdom and the Empire 
began to sour. Ew, no. Hmm. When she fell ill, the Empire requested an Iatromancer be dispatched from Osirius. The Empire had very few Semiomancers, but the Kingdom refused. We cited the unstable situation on our home soil as... What the f- that last city looks weird as shit. Why are you telling me all this now? I did not wish to keep it secret. That kind of honesty could come back to haunt you. If our journey is to be enjoyable, I must be open with you. It really is a nice view. Indeed. Is somebody hiding in the back? Oh, no. We should return before Albert and the others grow worried. <laughs> oh, there we go. We get some points over here. Is there anything else over here? Stretch and mind. Aw, bunnies. Sweet. Geronimo! Fly away! Oh, we're flying. We're flying like a bird. Yep. I'm ready for sleep. I should go to the end. Let's <laughs> go. Go back home now. The end should be just south of the basilica. Time for bed. <laughs> now that I know Chloe's safe, it's a real weight off my shoulders. Maybe I'll sleep better tonight. Oh shit, we gotta go this way. <laughs> Chloe's examination seems to be finished. Shall you? Tire? Yes. We need to re we need to go back to bed. Go to sleep, butthole! <laughs> Fire. The Baldar Citadel is taking fire from the Vale Empire. Your Highness, we are under attack from the Empire. <sighs> Your Highness. What is she doing? How can this be? What the hell is going on? <sighs> What is going on? Are they gonna be okay down there? I believe Baldar's defenses should be well prepared. Doesn't seem like it. Ray, let us find Nina, Elena, and Chloe with utmost haste. It is not safe. We must leave Baldar at once. What do you mean? With our few number, we have no possibility to sway the tide of this battle. And as shameful, as dispiriting as it may be. Oh. Duty precedes us. Christian Bale. Must avoid the crown princess of the kingdom being killed or captured by the Empire. Your Highness, I... Letizia. The assurance of my safety should bring solace to the captain and father. I will not tempt Vale with our kingdom on a platter. Let us depart. All right, bring it. Let's find our group. Looks like some bullshit's happening. What happened? Who gave the order to fire upon them? I do not know. It is unclear which unit launched the attack, but it seems the naval battalion in the harbor has already deployed. Perhaps there was some miscommunication. <laughs> Foolishness! Father! Patricia! It would seem things have taken an ill turn. I am relieved to see you all unharmed. What is the situation on the battlefield? We fare poorly. 
Our strategic councils have prepared us for this. The situation will be under control ere long. Yeah, okay. Uh, Your Majesty, the lower level gates have been breached. What? Already? What is the front line command post doing? What the fudge is going on? For all these birds. Technology? They may not be so directly involved. But if beings from a developed planet have formed some allyship with Vale, they could have easily improved their warships and artillery in short order. Oh god. Damn. Metal and purple. Ray, Elena, what do you make of the situation? Leticia, if we want to keep you safe, we need to make tracks. And fast. We don't stand a chance against the enemy's firepower. Upon we need to Christian bail. I observed here yesterday, against what the Empire has on hand, it is only a matter of time until Baldar falls. Father, Captain, we must retreat at once. What are you saying? You would have us abandon Baltar? That is precisely what I am saying. We have not a moment to lose. Your Majesty, the Imperial forces are much more powerful than we had anticipated. Please understand, their strength is likely bolstered by interlopers from the sky as well. We stand no chance. Interlopers from the sky? What madness do you speak of? We've witnessed unbelievable power throughout our travels. Incredible power from those beyond the sky. Ray and the others are from an advanced civilization far superior to that of the Vale Empire. Please, you must. They probably do not care. They probably do not care. I thought I was thinking like, no, we need to kidnap them right now. Jesus Christ. To think this would be decided in one blow. Your Majesty. Order all troops to retreat back to the royal city immediately. Right away. Pray leave the troops in my care, Your Majesty. You and the princess should make for Asendros with all haste. I am sorry for this, Bertrand. Do not fall this day. My men await you outside, Sir Elbert. See that his majesty and the princess arrive safely back at the royal city. Understood, sir. May fortune smile upon you, Captain Bertrand. Ah. Oh. Forgive me. I never thought it would come to this. Don't worry. It's all part of the job. Nina, you take the rear with His Majesty and Leticia. Chloe, stick with me and don't stray. Got you. Uh, okay. Let us be off. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get out of this shithole. They made it this far. <laughs> Christian Bale slash. <laughs> Come 
Come on, boys, get in there. Come on, we gotta get out of this shithole. Get out of this place. Oh, aqua berry potions. the cat slashes oh, I can't even get that item damn more cats cool slash Oh, damn, we went the wrong way. Come on! Christian Bale, please. Bring the doubt yet to be now. Your Majesty, Father. It is nothing. I see now that you spoke true. Never in my life have I laid eyes upon such fearsome arms. Don't talk. I'll seal the wound right away. Oh, what the... What? What the heck is that thing? Bertrand Corp, shield his man. Movie quote time. Guess the movie this is from and you and you, Excellent. if you can. Okay. Have mercy, I've been wearing this in... <sighs> Please have mercy, I've been wearing the same underwear since Tuesday. Uh, I don't know. I give up. I have no idea what movie that comes from. I have no. I don't. I, don't, I haven't watched too many movies. So I don't know. Borat. I don't know. I know Borat too.
movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I never heard of that movie. It's a good movie. I never watched it, so I don't know. Cut the crap. <sighs> All right, where the hell? All right, come on, come on. Ariel. Where's the other mother worm? Where's the other one? Come on! I watched Step Brothers. Does that count? No. Those movies don't count. Was complete uh, BS. It can no longer carry him. Duma, why didn't you stay with the king and Chloe? I determined that focusing on the defense of this organism would result in a significantly decreased mortality rate. W what the hell are you even saying? I acted in the interest of protecting the organism's king and Chloe. A great number of the more combat viable Bertrand Corps had seen what the fuck? Function, oh god. Protecting two organisms that cannot contribute to the survival of the majority. You must go, Leticia. As long as you yet live, the royal family will not fall. I will not leave go you. Go quickly now. The blame lies with me. For failing to defend Baldar. For underestimating the strength of our enemy. No, your majesty! Stand up! You need to keep walking! We have to get closer to the royal city! All due respect, but if we stand here and argue, we're all toast. Ray! Look! Duma, protect the king and Chloe. It is the best way to boost our odds of survival. Promise! Analyzing command. Rewriting. Approved. A new program has been issued. Yeah, good, please. S3 cage. Press L2 that Duma separates and the active carrot raises the bar of the tardy. I see. God damn, come on. Another day. Oh. What? What strength is this? If you had the power to do this, why didn't you do this earlier? If you had, Bertrand's soldiers wouldn't have had to die. Hostile threat detected. Again? Incalculable hostile regions oh my god. from the north. Initiate emergency measures. Did you say uh, from the north? It must be. Oh god. Attack! 
Show not a shred of mercy to those who tread unbidden on royal land. Do not let them leave alive. Lord Echo! The Imperial forces need not be feared. Onward! Your Majesty, Princess Leticia, are you alright? General Canis! We came with all haste as soon as we uh. knew that Baldar had fallen. I am relieved we made it in time. General Canis, Captain Bertrand is heading the rear guard of Baldar. Please, you must help them. Calm yourself, Sir Albert. Duke Lemrath is already seeing to their aid. Commander Theo is also... Yay! Yay, let's come on! Keep going, guys. Keep going. We got this all day. Way, your majesty. We have a steed prepared for you. Wait, I'm still treating it. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, welcome, Nightshade Game, man. Glad you're able to make it from the TikTok Live, of course. You are an awesome, you're an awesome person. Welcome, welcome. We may have been better off without Kick ass. You have made it to the you have made it to the fun. You have made extra fun. Oh, we're having a uh, fantastic rest of your night, of course. His Majesty is being treated by most welcome, welcome. Wasabi, wasabi is what I always say. Bertrand also might yet. We'll probably be back on TikTok like probably another time, but that's not right now though. Let us make Play some video games all day. I totally would have been on earlier, but I've been fighting a massive headache all day. Hey, I don't blame you. Focus on your health. I focus on your health, you know? I'm glad you're able to come on, but focus on yourself, man. Uh make sure your health's okay. I don't want you to come on here and be and feel like crap. <laughs> I like you on Prime if you get my joke, but that's okay. We do not know how long it will stay that way until we have a better understanding of the situation. For now, we should make for the palace. Yeah, let's let's get to the palace right now because we need to do that. But I'm glad you're able to make it, sir. I'm glad you're able to make it. Honestly, I, even I said earlier on the TikTok live, the <laughs> this platform is much better value wise not tiktok literally i'm not even joking either so you guys are on here you guys are having fun so who gives a shit who gives a damn i hate getting headaches anyways hope it's not a migraine i don't really get migraines too often but that happens i hate it i would just cry all day All right, come on. Let's uh, let's get in here. <laughs> you can't really play video games. I don't think you can like tag. I don't think all the games are on TikTok. You can kind of tag anyways. From what I know of. <laughs> that I noticed. Like I tried playing like a certain game like I wanted to put on, but it didn't have it. So I was like, okay, well, that kind of sucks. But that's kind of me, though. All right, let's see here. Let's get to the royal palace. The Baldar Citadel has fallen into the decent hands of the Empire. How will you take responsibility for this? Our defense was doomed from the start. The Imperials far outmatched us. Yet we were able to rout their pursuing forces without issue. The weapons the Imperials used were beyond anything we could have imagined. Why, then, do reports indicate our forces made the first move? Were you all so eager for glory you were willing to die for it? Save the reprimands for later. We must first hear more of these Imperial weapons. What well, kind of, we don't, they're probably like some cannons or some shit. <laughs> the cannons outfitted on those Imperial warships were assuredly unlike anything we've dealt with before. They command all manner of monstrous abominations. And their soldiers were armed with weapons that fired shards of iron. Is that all? Mere trifles by the sound of it. Do you doubt Her Highness's words, General Canis? You forget yourself. Here is one of the stones fired from their contraptions. It penetrated a knight's armor. Yeah, it's a, it's a fucking gun. 
plain to see the Empire's armaments have undergone a drastic change. Lacking as we are in sufficient field analysis, crushing defeat is all but certain should we suffer another attack. Then we shall bring the fight to them. Let us wrest Baldar back from their grasp. We shall not let them have the upper hand. That will only lead to more unnecessary deaths. Oh, Jesus. Being, we had best wait for his majesty to recover. Until then, you should all focus on healing your own wounds. Except for a few people, because they're, they're just kind of bow-craving assholes. <laughs> Like, God damn. This may not be the most suitable place for it. What kind of games uh, do you play, Nightshade? Maester Midas has been worried sick about you. What kind of games do you play? I was already asked that before, I remember. Acquired Victor. Semiomancy Consortium was just east after leaving the palace, wasn't it? Yep. I wonder what Director Malthea wants to say. Royal Capital. Yeah, okay, we're going to the gardens. Alright, cool. We got that one. Alright, we need to... Um... Okay, we need to... We need to Christian bail ourselves out of this frickin' place. Christian bail! I am rather astounded to hear Maester Midas worried after us. Midas isn't cold-hearted. He's just unable to express himself properly. You're giving him way too much credit. I don't play a bunch of... I don't play a bunch. I play Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, Skyrim, and a few others. Oh, okay. Okay. I try a variety of games usually, because usually you kind of open up. Yeah, this is Chloe. Chloe, meet our good pal Midas. Uh, <clears throat> nice to meet you. Well, perhaps you should have accompanied them if you were so worried after Sir Albert and Lady Elena. Try to. I am come only to fix Albert's arm, nothing more. Huh, a shame that. Uh -huh. I suppose yeah, I, I um, I was going to say, yeah, um, for, I mean, Assassin's Creed, I feel like that's kind of been a bit of a weird place. I think, it, I don't know what game came out, but I know, like, they started doing like, the whole, uh, leveling thing with Assassin's Creed, like your action RPG type of deal. Which is kind of weird. But, I mean, I guess the series kind of taking a different approach. So it's, you know, it's a Ubisoft game. Call of Duty. Eh, okay, Call of Duty is kind of... Everybody's been to play that. I think everybody's been playing a ton of Warzone 2, though. Which I don't care about Warzone 2. I don't know, just a game I don't like to watch, because I get extremely bored. No way that's a sleigh. Maybe a boat? No way. This machinery. Director Malthea, is this? Used to game every day, but life right now, it's kind of hard to game. I don't blame you. It is, I bet it's very hard to do right now. It's probably, see, I don't know, like, what you're dealing with, and I respect you for that. Like, whatever you gotta deal with, you gotta deal with, you know? You gotta deal with that. Uh, and of course, when you do have the time, you make sure your time is used, you know, um, time well. Not wasted, you know? Because you got whatever you got life going on the next day or the next couple hours or who knows. So I respect you for that, of course. So. Do what you will with my dusty old notion. I am come only to. Especially fucking. Especially, it's probably just. Be, I'm also gonna blame freaking. Uh, I don't know. I suppose it would not interest you to know that. I think I was the same thing. I don't like to game every day either. I like to watch anime and, um. Usually mostly anime. I've been bouncing around between anime and gaming, bouncing around between them. Tempted to make the Folga fly using ancient floating semiomancy. But the output was never enough to move them more than a stone's throw. 
We have recently discovered a catalyst that can greatly increase their distance and Ooh. time spent airborne. It is called Levitas Ore and can only be found in the Nilbeth Ancient Coil in the lands of the Traffin. What? If you jest, I shall show you no quarter. Um, have you ever known me to make light of semiomantic research? No. Fine, I will go. Maester Midas. But I thought you were only here for Albert's arm. I wouldn't want to get your hopes up too high, Leticia. Ooh. When do we leave? Oh, what? Good. You should make for the seaport of Kado at once. I've arranged for a transport. Let us meet at the harbor. Um, okay. Right, let's get this show on the road. I want I think I'll be staying in the royal city. Huh? Chloe needs rest. Her imprisonment and our retreat from Baldar has surely left her exhausted. Besides that, you'll be taking a ship from Kato to Nilbeth. If we were to Elena, come on, let's see that sweet ass. Come on. The risk to non-combatants on open water would be too great. Elena, you speak wisely. If I stay, I can keep you updated on the situation here via my device. Of which Chloe has none, lest you forget. She will need time to learn the language and the culture of this land. Chloe's a quick learner. She should pick it up in no time at all. Yeah, you're right. Take care of her. <sighs> it will be Damn. much harder to gather the right materials without you there, Elena. Hmm. I would also beseech her to stay. I fear what my lord uncle and the others may do. I would find some comfort in knowing what they are planning. Yeah, I wonder what they're planning too. Please. Uh, birds. I like some birds. You see fit all of my birds every day. I, I could keep talking all day. It's kind of funny that I didn't eat anything all day. Barely anything today. I'm still here, bro. I'm just doing the dad thing. Oh, being a dad? Daddy. You call dad. All right, there we go. Now we got Midas. All right. for here. Oh, it's just a, uh, wait, are these like characters from other Star Ocean games? I don't recognize any of these Star Ocean characters. I actually don't know. Maybe not, they're just maybe just character pieces. I don't know. Alright, where is That's fine. I get this was sprung on you, but why do you have to go somewhere so dangerous, Ray? Because we need to. to an end at the start. They're my friends now. And they need my help. I can't just say no. Okay. Roger that. Safe journey, Ray. W what? Just like that? Aww. I thought you were just going along with the flow. But I see your heart's in it now. Do your best. Oh, oh, and try not to get in everyone's way. Of course. I'll do all I can. On this end, 
too. Aw, she's cute. Thanks, Chloe. Be back soon. Man, it would be kind of cool we had Elena more, but no. There we go. Let's get us out of here. I think we might call it a call it a night of I think we might call it a night. We're having a fucking great time right now. Let me at least get to like the open area. And we should be fine. We'll find a stop. Alright, there we go. We'll have to play this every once in a while. There we go. All right. Midas is on what? There we go. Um, lightning blast. Grants a random buff. Oh. All right, so we need guts. Increase our. There we go. Weakness increase. What's this? Water resistance up. HP up. Attack up. There we go. Alright, let's, let's get our skill points up. Let's see here. Ooh, this ain't fun. Alright. Defense. Oh, this is, um, Albert. Nope, we don't have enough SP. Alright, Nina, what do you got? You got any skills for us? Defensive sound that blasts away enemies on contact. Great for guarding targeted allies. Language of sound ceremony. Uh, we saw multiple times. Stationary enemies. Canceling longer punishment. What is this? Weakness up, weakness, HP, hmm. spirits of wisdom. Okay. Actually, this will be a good one, honestly. Hide. That's a good ability to have. Take damage. Auto healing is good. All right, we got 225 more skill. Concentration. All right, let's do... Hmm. Yeah, we'll use tubular bells. All right, uh, we'll, we'll create some stats. Why not? Increase a few stats. Nope. Everything's 50. Next is Leticia. She is going to basically... Let's see here. Increase the stats. Let's see what we got. Attack an area whirlwind. Searching upwards. Turn use for aerial combos. Attack by 8%. Increase the strength. Uh, quick usage. Hi! Hey, welcome one guy! Welcome, welcome, welcome one. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're able to make it, sir. I'm glad you're able to make it. Hope you had a uh, great time. Uh, was it yesterday? Yeah, I believe it was last night. We did the TikTok live yesterday. Uh, welcome, welcome. Wasabi, wasabi, sir. 
hope you're having a uh, fantastic rest of your night how you doing hope everything's okay with you i was streaming i said oh we had a great time i ended up kind of i kind of fell asleep yesterday we just kind of had a we fell asleep yesterday so and we're kicking ass uh we're doing good right now so we're just kind of playing a new game not a new game, but returning a game we kind of didn't finish. Just playing this. We'll be playing some more games, but I don't know, like, what we're going to play, though. Which will be kind of interesting, because we still have so many games to play. I might switch to another action game or something after this. All right, let's see here. Uh, Flowing Barrage of Attacks. Oh, this is good. I'll take this one. All right, and then finally, Raymond. Ooh, Raymond's got to have some good stats. Let's see. I'll take Guts. I'll take more Guts. Um, let's see here. Intelligence, that's fine. That works. There we go, and that's it. Man, that's not, that's not like, oh yeah. We, oh yeah, we got everybody. I thought I didn't get anybody. Hmm. We're doing pretty good, so uh, we, we we just got um. So right now we're kind of just we just got a little more story into it, but once again, um, I might have to grind again just because I want to get some more skills right now. But I don't know about I don't know how much like skills I need. If I should overgrind or not. I'm kind of like, I might do it offline, honestly. We'll try to get through story if we can through stream, of course. But we are, I already kind of have it figured out, but well, I also got to figure out my next game, anyways. How far in the game are you? Um, we're about. Uh, Jesus. We're not that far in, honestly. Maybe like 20 hours. I want to say 50, 20 hours in, I want to say. For an RPG, it's not that long. That's why I want to say we're not that far in, honestly. Because we the last time we played this was a while back. And we're just coming back now. Because we just finished playing Pokemon Vi uh Pokemon Violet. We just finished playing that. And we got the Pokedex done and everything was cool. And all that jazz. But everything's fucking dope though. Everything is dope as shit. <laughs> Woo! You can't, too bad, like, you can't play these games, like, you can't play games while on TikTok, because the way that, like, the format... I don't know how to explain this. I don't like the whole idea of, like, the screen on TikTok. I hate that, where it's just... I always like this particular format, just because it's easier for me to kind of, um... See things. I, on TikTok, I have to, like, actually look at my phone and do it. Which I find kind of annoying. And then again, like I've, I've every time for some fucking reason now because because it's a, it's the algorithm, they take you to like weird fucking streams or weird like lives with fucking women, just like a just chatting thing in this conversion. And like you see a bunch of dudes just like, oh my god, it's a I'm like, what the hell is this shit? What the fuck am I looking at? Or some shit. I see some dudes like, you know, complimenting this woman's chest. I'm like, um, okay, buddy, do you have a wife or something? Shit. Like, damn, you spend all your money on this person? Damn, like that must be some uh, some kind of simping issue over here. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? It's not, it me I guess sound like it's only fans. You got some. Those are the men we don't kind of respect. Those are the kind of dudes we just don't like. Yo, nah. We don't do that shit. We don't do any of that stuff. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, I find TikTok very toxic. Mainly, I'll be on there every once in a while, and uh. If we get like a random game, just pretending that the game is in there, but trying to talk to you guys. It's easier on here than TikTok, just because how restricting TikTok is and how sensitive it is. 
I can see what the fuck I, I can see what the hell I want, but I can see most things more than I can see on the other platform. And you guys get free shit too, so who gives a fuck? You guys get all the free shit. Yeah, yeah, like stop spending all your time doing that and do something you like. Yeah, exactly. People are so absorbed with their phones now. That was on their phones, but they're so absorbed by TikTok. Something with mini I don't know how the fuck they do it. Wow, wow. What? I'm not saying everybody, but like... You know, like, obviously if you're doing something in your life, you know, you're cool with that, you know, I'm fine with that, you know. But once again, like, I wouldn't want to be... Like, if you have a lot of money and you have a lot of time, I can't say anything. When you're kind of in, like, in a really bad place and you're still spending money on that type of stuff, mm, that I, that's when I kind of like, look, no. Don't do that shit. Come on, man. It's very delayed. Yeah, it's all good. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Shit happens. Everything's delayed half the time. It's delayed. It's fine. You're like three, five seconds delayed, man. It's like three seconds delayed for me, honestly. So you're fine. No worries. You are good. For you, it might be longer if you're on phone because it's like 20 sec, uh, it's like 15 seconds, something like that. I know on for me, it's like five. Cause I'm on desktop. I hate ads, honestly. I don't like how they do ads now on Twitch. It's so dumb. Like I would, I, I would, if I wanted to put no ads, I would love to put no ads. But instead, they forced me to put ads, which is dumb. All right, let's, uh... <clears throat> All right, what's this guy want? This guy wants money or something. Theo. Matheo, well, sir. Well. Fancy meeting you lot here. We must cross the Straits of Kato in order to reach the continent of Nilbeth. Commander Theo has agreed to help us. What? So, the Imperial Navy's been trawling around even before Baldar fell? That, that makes sense. All I fear. The reports say she looks. <laughs> I don't like her glasses. It seems they plan to yeah, see, I, I hate that too, and I can't control that. I didn't. I never liked the changes when they did the changes for like they put ads now, like they give you guys like more. I'm like, I don't want ads. I don't want anybody watching stupid ads. You know, I wouldn't. I don't want people forcing people to watch ads. Like, like I said, if I was given a choice between ads or no ads, I pick no ads. Not joking, I wouldn't either. I just wouldn't, I would not put ads, but they, they just like, nope, you gotta put ads. I'm like, oh my god. Like, hey guy, you're killing me over here. Like, come on, you get, you get my guys here killing over here? You guys are just beating the shit out of everybody? You know, but once again, like, I mean, again, like, all these platforms, I want these platforms to compete. TikTok, YouTube, Twitch. Uh, no, we're not, we're not saying Mixer. Mixer's a joke. Um, Travolo, I think the other one's called. I don't remember. Um, I want them to compete so that way we try to, like, we can be whatever platform we want. I know, of course, people have their preferences when it comes to platforms. But the always it's always like, okay, what is the best experience you're gonna get out of something? I find, in my opinion, with the three apps I've used, I don't like TikTok. TikTok's definitely the lowest for me. You're on you you literally you don't really get anything when you want someone's ad, when you follow their ad or whatever, all that other stuff. You don't really get anything for it. And even like I said, I would love to post clips for TikTok on TikTok, like all my previous previous clips and highlights uh, from streams and stuff. And you guys can watch those. But I haven't had like any reason to do that because every time, of course, like obviously the problem is when you, you keep posting on TikTok, you get more and more um, people. You're more up on the algorithm. Obviously, when you stop, it put it gets you off the algorithm. If that makes sense. Trafton settlement lies just southwest of here. It sucks, and it really does. It sure is nice with us who knows the way. I, I'm not gonna go any controversial topics or anything, but again I I already see I, I already hear like freaking 
All right, let's see here. Where are we? We're in like a tree land or something? Nilabeth? This looks like a tropical land. Oh. Who possess corporeal forms that are quite different than our own. The um, okay. And what does that mean? Alright, what the fudge are these guys? He pro... He's been acting strange. Yeah, we, he probably knows something. Oh my god, I have no AP! Give me my AP now! And, and like, the other thing is, like, here's my question. I want to say, I want to say on TikTok. How do you guys play video games on TikTok Live? Is there, like, a browser way to do it? That should have been, like, built in or something. I've been kind of cool if I could actually have, like, my OBS and how, how this time set up on TikTok. But the problem is it's the stupid... The way, like, you hold... Like, it's obviously the screen fits the way, like, your phone is. So, like, for example, it's this type of screen. And, yes, I have Sharia Barnes on freaking that. Like, I hate this format more than anything to watch lives. I really don't like it. I never... I never will. All right. Um. Anyways, uh, one guy, go right ahead. I'll let you uh, talk for a second. I just wonder how those lives actually work when you actually play video games. I'm just curious. Like, I really don't know. I seen like a site that you can do it, but I don't remember the name exactly. Freaking like, I don't know. I'm pulling a curious George right now. The way people do that is you film the game or your face. What? Yeah, but is there like a weighted? I don't know. That's so dumb, though. No, no. I've seen people. I, I've seen people where they have they play. Yeah, but on their. But the thing is, it's on their phone. But there's like another way to do it, and you just kind of like. You have to have like the game capture up or some shit. I don't remember. It's like a third party app or something. You just connect your TikTok account on it and then you just go live and you have to have the app up of all times or some shit like that. I don't remember 100%. That's the other thing. I don't really remember 100%. Oh shit. Come on. You know, no, it's all good. No, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm just curious. I've seen people that play video games, not like where you see a bare screen, but they get like a full screen, like you get a good quality screen, good quality, like, you know, gameplay footage or whatever. All right, what is going on? Yo, is the enemy in the tree? What the fuck? Where's the enemy? I don't see them. The enemy's like stuck in the tree. All right, let's. All right, let's get in this town. Yeah, um, cause they usually too. Like, I also, I also like, I would, I don't know if I should end up doing, continue and do the TikTok lives just every once in a while, maybe once a week. But instead of like being like an hour or two hours, it'll be like almost the whole day. <laughs> but I'll put like a random video game just for no reason and just sit there. Because most of the time, like, the other thing is, too, is I don't, I never liked how people, like, the comments usually. Because mostly it's either bots or people just trying to troll. <sighs> For some reason, I'm on here. I don't really get that too often. Every once in a while. I don't know, it's up to you. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure, I'll figure something out. Maybe every once in a while I'll do it. But. Oh, who's this? Mm, who's this gorgeous lady? Ooh, who's this? Who's this? Who's this young lady? Ooh, she's hot. I don't know who she is. She's giving my bird breasts some uh, some pecking over here. Get out of my way! 
She better not be looking as good as Elena, though. She's she's not getting that. Midas, is that truly you? In the flesh. Thank goodness you're safe. You jumped in so quickly. I assumed you were another Imperial lackey. My apologies. Oh my God! What is this? Do not fret. Full glad am I to see you. Hmm. Age has certainly not been kind to you. Yet you remain unchanged, just as last I saw you. You flatter me, but I have changed in my own way over these years. Let me guess, those princeless breasts? Your companions are appearing in this direction with some confusion. <laughs> They're being fucking into me! <laughs> You're a catch? Is that... Forget them. The less they know, the better. <laughs> oh, no. Not do, Midas. I am certain your friends would like to hear the whole story. He's like, no. I, I see some familiar faces. <laughs> Human children really do grow up in the blink of an eye. <laughs> oh? It has been some time, Princess Leticia. I am deeply honored you would remember me. Lady Malkia. You have grown into a beautiful woman. And the boy has grown into How long do you plan to stream for? Um I'll probably be here for like another hour. I won't see another hour. Boy, he's still a little boy. Probably like another hour, I would say. We won't be on for long though, because uh it's almost ten o'clock. We did streams through start I did start start as like like six thirty, quarter seven. So. Osseus core I separated with fourteen years ago. <laughs> but I never imagined Midas would be with it. Osseus core Oh. So was that the material used to replace Albert's arm all those years ago? Welcome. Ah. Uh. Princess Leticia. And your Who is this lady? She has this very, very revealing outfit. I am the leader of the Trafin tribe, the native peoples of Nilbath. Oh man. Follow me. Yeah, you're making my birds all No, it's all good, no, it's all good. You didn't know, I I, I think uh, I might have said it at seven o'clock, but I think it might have been your time, so I don't know what your time zone is. So you're probably thinking like seven o'clock, like your time. I I said I probably said seven. I definitely said seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's all good though. It's all good. No worries. It's always the next time. I'll be around mostly. I'm gonna be around for a little while though, because uh, we do have. Oh, it's seven here. Yeah, that's probably why. So right now it's like nine. For me, it's like nine thirty, almost nine thirty. So yeah, you're two hours behind me. So basically, I would start at five. If I decided to, if it was today. This is our village and our bastion against the Imperial. Ooh, forces. what is this place? For what reason is the Empire invading Nilbeth? We can discuss such matters in my home. In my home? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, you have this. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's competing that ass. I think that, I think that ass is fine. <laughs> I, I, I'm watching way too. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in my life. Like there's a side door I can go out oh my god, what's going on here? Christian Bale. I need to crush my bail myself from this shit. Is it me or am I lagging a little bit? It's like a little slight lag. That's weird. <laughs> come on, games, come on. This place gives me weird vibes. I should probably head over to Malkius. The southern room, I think. Um, all right, we don't have to walk with her. We can just run in here. Okay, cool. Now then, let us start with what brings you to Nilbeth. To fight back against the Valen. With your blessing, we hope to mine the Levitas ore found deep within the Nilbeth ancient coil. The ore will ultimately serve as an indispensable catalyst. Catalyst, you Be right back. Hey, no worries. Take your time. So you intend to use the Folga? <gasps> you know of the Folga? 
Of course I do. Midas promised we Look would... Yeah. <laughs> what are you shouting for, man? <laughs> the Fulga, you see, was an idea Midas thought up while with Marcus, Filberto, and I 14 years ago. Dad and Dr. Ethan too? Lady Malkia was involved in the invention of the Fulga? This is the first I have heard of it. In a manner of speaking, I was. Am I wrong to say so? He's like, Ugh. Yes, I would not have met you otherwise. Mayhap. The ancient coil is Nilbat's most sacred ground. If we would allow outsiders to dig within, I would impose one condition. Oh, what do you got, lady? I would ask for your assistance in routing the imperial threat that encroaches on the ancient coil and our home. Excavation may prove difficult with the Empire so close at hand, besides. Ugh, do we stand a chance? Baldar was no match for them at all. The royal city of Nilbeth has not sent aid due to the small number of imperial soldiers. The villagers tell me the enemy has but a single warship. So we'll be fine, right? No. If we cannot route this small force, then I fear for our return home. I'm counting on you all. Let us make our move when ready. I will be joining you. So do call on me once you have made the necessary preparations. Um, okay. Um, you have big breasts though. <laughs> You're like, shut off! I shall remain in Alright. Clashing with the Imperial forces. Gotta make sure we're ready for them. Alright, well we should get a shop or something. Time to Be let sure Malkia know we're all set first. to go. Back to her room, I guess. You by any chance? Yeah, we're looking for weapons. All right. Buy some weapons. There we go. The holy farewell. All right, we gotta equip. Let's, let's equip first. All right, let's see. Bur birds. All right. Yes. Wait, is this? Wait, is this fire? No, it's not. For a second, I thought it was like a fire um type of deal. Hold on a second. Temperance. Another staff. It was such a. There we go. You buy nope, we're gonna sell stuff now. All right, sell this. All right, uh, we'll sell this too. Thanks. All right. Ooh. Oh shit, this is way better. Wait, what is this? Hold on. Oh, we can buy like... Jesus Christ. All right, so hold on. All right, hold on a second. We don't need any of that. We could get this, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, this is kind of better, so we'll buy... We'll buy two. Two of these bad boys. All right, and then for these guys to get two more. Thanks. All right, now we can upgrade some gear again. 
All right. Let's see. We need. Yep. Heavy armor. Um. Who is this? Oh, so Tisius. We want riot gear. Uh, who is this? Is this Midas? No, it's Nina. It's okay. The Burt Cloak. You're also the Burt Cloak. Riot gear. Awesome. That's that's everybody. Now we can buy more stuff. All right, we'll sell. Sell everything. Let's see here. Sell all of this. Sell. We don't need any of this stuff. There you go, that's better. Thanks. There we go. Do these like give you like way better? Oh, there we go. Absorbs 5% damage felt. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's a, oh, you get less defense. I see. You get less defense and guts. You get more attack out of it. All right, 45% damage reduction by attacks. 30% more damage. 14% chance activating skills. That's so consuming AP. All right, let's see here. We're looking. 140% drop rate. 20% when healing. Oh, actually, this would be perfect for her. That's perfect for her when she heals. That's perfect. To bestow buffs. That's actually pretty good, too. That's perfect. 100% likely to finish when attack. Flinch, excuse me, I say, I say flinch, I say flinch. Staggering power. 50% more staggering power. That's actually not bad either. So like, I came out with five people or something like that, I don't need it. All right, um, we'll do this. Let's do this, right? Hold on. Let's give her. Yeah, let's give her the really good stuff right now. Sort by new item, I guess. There we go. All right, so we'll give her Draconic Brooch. And then we'll also give her, um... The Amulet Blessing. That'll increase her healing. Alright. We can actually, we actually, I may end up selling all the accessories and try to get more. So hold on. Sell what? All my accessories? Sell. There we go, let's see here. Alright, that's that's fine, that's fine, that works. Alright, hold on. Let's look at accessories again. 
fusion, resistance, less likely to flinch, staggering power, less likely to flinch when attacked. Twenty one guts when HP is full. 140% drop rate. We'll keep bats fine. VA gauge set to 1.5 when chaining combos. Victory prize. Alright, so that's not good. Uh so we got five people with us? Yeah, five, so. We'll give them all Scarf of Fever, so we have 42% chance. Reduced by attacks. Alright. One. Uh, two. Maybe. Th I'll say two is fine. And the other one can be. What okay, the other one can be, actually, anyways? That will do anything, it's fine. Alright, cool. Thanks. We just bought our accessories, damn. Alright, so we'll give you... We have all kinds of stuff. Alright, so we'll give you... Scarf of Feep, Scarf, scarf of... Uh... Scarf of Fever, Fe uh, Fever, whatever it's called. And then, see, we'll do bloodbath, but the problem is, uh, we'll be taking more damage. Damn, where is? I don't know what I'm looking for. Ariel, scarf of fate. Oh, I'm stacking it. Damn it! Hold on. There we go. All right, I might have bought an extra one, I'm thinking. All right, so... This is... It's not gainful gloves we want. Yeah, we want... Oh my god, no, that's not what I- Damn it, I picked the wrong- I keep- I hate- I'm not used to this menu. Alright. I meant to pick my secondary. There we go. Basic, new. Yes. Alright, Scarf of Carnage. And then, what is this? Hold on. Oh, I know, this is- No, this is- Oh, damn, it's Albard. Hold on. I have I have something specific for him. So hold on. Oh my God, no! Close. There we go. <laughs> yes, we'll give you that one. Raymond will give him um, the one with extra attack power, the red one. You're getting this one. Okay, Leticia is getting. What she else is getting? Not victory prize. Uh, she's getting um. All right, Midas is gonna get something for casting. There we go. We'll do him as the. All right, this works. All right, let's save for now. So we don't lose our progress. Create save data. There we go. Cool. We got everything we need for now, so we should be good. 
right, let's continue. Have you made ready? Yes. Then let us be off. The enemy may be few in number, but take caution. I don't know who this lady is, but... know where the brutes dwell? I do. We shall patrol their invasion route and destroy them one by one. A simple strategy. We have also received reports that the enemy commander is present. Ooh, enemy commander. commander. Ah, if we take the commander down, we can send them packing easy. Just so. Boy, I will not overstep my bounds, but take care. Understood. Let us He's calling her. She's calling him boy. Wow. Foolish Imperials, what we are capable of. First, we must head outside. There you go. We need to heal up, anyways. All right, let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. We need to get this shit going. Our is in sight. With me. Let's go. <laughs> Malachi's special features. You need to VA. She automatically fires ice needles when changing directions. You can close on enemies when shooting off ice. This is gonna be interesting. Let's go. A most useful orb, if not somewhat annoying. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Duma doesn't listen to anyone. The Imperial Uh, what is it, Ray? Those guys again. No, it's nothing. Sorry. Our aim is not to take life, but do not hesitate. Forward. Let's go. Later. Now on to the next. Right. Unable to acquire iron. All right. Ooh, we guys actually have enough points for something. Okay, let's see here. There we go. He gets 50% more strength. There we go. Oh my god. Oh. Skill tree. Confusion resistance. All right, Midas has a hundred.
Ooh, oh my god, Malky's got all these skills. Holy shit. All right. Let's see. Extend dodge. Why not? Hey, she got all these skills? Jesus Christ. Auto healing? Of course you want auto healing. Well, like, what kind of skill tree is this? What else do you have over here? We need more stats. That's what we need right now. Acid rain increases defense. What is this? Deep freeze. All right, this is. Purification. <laughs> oh my God, what kind of fucking skill tree is this? Oh my God, too many, too many skill trees. Magra punishment. Alright, let's see. More skills. We got convert HP MP. Let's see, we got Rising Papillon. Sure, why not? We're trying to, like, really just increase our stats right now. Let's see here. HP up. Clever Fighter. Seventy-five. All right, there we go. Extend dot dodge. Auto healing, clever fighter. There we go. I didn't think she'd actually be a fighter for, to, for with us. Interesting. There they are, our next target. <laughs> <laughs> their firearms oh in a good way or a bad way i don't know it depends far more skill than I imagine. such prowess is a rarity even among the warriors of tracking but we might consider a kind of attack on the imperial warship that should drive them back from whence they came Lady yeah but... please return to the settlement we are under attack what a large number of imperials their commander is on a, a rampage. Never have I witnessed such brutality. Return with all haste now. All right, let's go. 
Now I have to go back to where we came. All right, we're definitely uh, we're gonna bring her in the party. Screw it. All right, uh, let's do reserves. Hold on, change party around. Oh, this is gonna be an interesting party. All right, <clears throat> she's only level forty-one. Jesus, we're like we really over leveled. I gotta say, we definitely over leveled. She grew a level. There we go. I feel like Malkia and Midas are like mommy and daddy. And then you got like freaking Nina's like the little sister and you got Raymond's the older brother. <laughs> then you got the next sibling after that. It's like mad weird. Definitely some mommy issues right there. I, I would probably be one of those. I have mommy issues right now. Oh, fly away, boys, fly away. <clears throat> no, this can't be. What have they done? Well, well, I was not expecting you back so soon, Lady Traffin. Rich. Ray, this is the same man who attacked us in Rifle after Elena came down. <sighs> You're right! Who was taking that horn and pale skin? He was an Imperial officer. Well, if it isn't the peons who are looking into meteorites and Helgar's disease in Rifle. My apologies for not introducing myself before. I am called Gaston Gosia. Do my eyes deceive me? Or is that a Duma with you? <gasps> oh god. You? Really? <clears throat> you recognize Duma? You must not be from this planet. I could certainly ask you the same. Or ask why you're staring at me so bitterly for that matter. Are we not allies? You have a Duma with you after all. I would never dream of allying myself with one who would commit such atrocities. Nor will we waste any more words on a general of the Vale Empire. You will not lay another finger on the trap and people. Yo, what kind of clause is that? Just don't expect me to hold back. I will not go as easy on you as I did at our first meeting. Do your worst. Detecting unforeseen possible threat. Secure the perimeter. Let's go! God. Yeah! I was too careless. 
Hey, you should be careless, boy. I just made her like, let's increase your heals like right away because those heals were crap. I think I'd rather call it a day. See you again, Duma. And here's hoping we all have a more worthwhile chat next time. No doubt about it. He's just like the guy we met when repairing Elena and the woman on Mount Cotter. They're humanoids from a developed planet. And this Gaston? He isn't shy about using their technology here either. In any case, we have repelled their offensive. I doubt they will return anytime soon. Raymond, Princess Leticia, have my gratitude. Oh yeah. You'll become strong in your own life, boy. I oh yeah. Your words. However, I, I seem to grow weary. Let us get you some well-deserved rest. I would welcome you all back into my home. Sounds good to me. This man is hurting right now. He's got that arm going on. Who the hell is he? Ray. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's nothing. Let's hurry to Malkia's room. Actually, let's check out the weapons, see if she got if they got any better weapons for her too. Unless they don't have anything. Hold on. Um, what are you wearing anyways? Thanks. What is she wearing anyways? Oh, she's wearing a cloak. Okay. I was like, what kind of outfit she was wearing? All right, let's see here. All right, let's see here. Uh... I don't think you're, okay, I don't think you can't buy your weapons here. That's fine though. Oh, we need to get her accessories. All right, so oh, that's right. We have an extra uh, scarf of fender. I think we do. I know. All right, we'll buy two more because uh, we need um give it to Elaine anyways. So that's fine. All right, we'll buy two more accessories. It says I have five. Thanks. I'm not finding where the other one is. Hold on. Hold on a second. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, I knew I had an extra one. All right. So I need one more of those for that person. So hold on. Oh, there's seven characters. Okay, hold on. So yeah, we need one more. All right, and then we also need... Okay, so before, there we go. Thanks. All right, and you're getting, um, one second. You're definitely getting Carnage. You're gonna be one of my attack power people too. There we go. For Levitas or there is one thing I would ask. Something else? I thought we already chased off the Empire. This is serious. 
It takes significant strength to excavate the ore, but many of the villagers are wounded. We are not in the best shape ourselves. Especially you, boy. Huh? These 14 long years must have been difficult. The creaking of my old Osseus core due to our close proximity must not be helping matters. Uh, no, I am fine. Do not hold in the pain any longer. There is no need. What? Midas and I have discussed it. I will bestow upon you a new Osseus core. A renewed arm that will allow you to resume your duties. <coughs> oh, well, Baird. Are, are, are you certain? Consider it a fitting reward for a hero who saved my people. Midas also keeps bringing up that if we do not repair your arm, he would be at the whim of the royal family forevermore. Hmm. He's like, shut up. Oh, that's great, Albert. Now you can go on being a knight. I, I, I can hardly believe it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Albert. The plantation procedure should only take one night. Let us all rest in anticipation of our journey to the Levitas Orb on the morrow. All right. Continue my nightly duties. I can still fight. They're essentially extending your lifespan. You speak true. Now I can repay her highness for all the worry I've caused her. Leticia's not here, by the way. Where'd she get to? I do not doubt there is much running through her mind. If. <laughs> Her Highness should speak to you. I beg you. Heed her words. Yeah, yeah, we know. Hey, what's this all of a sudden? You've been acting weird lately. Her Highness holds trust in you. Despite this trust, there were matters she could not share. Perhaps now, such conversation is possible. Yeah, I got it. And if I don't do as you say, you'd probably end up a pain in my ass anyways. Shall we begin the procedure? Yes, my lady. All right. I'd better find Letissa. All right, let's go find her. Where the hell is Letissa? Did she go outside somewhere? Oh, damn it. Come on. What do I want? <laughs> All the birds. All my nuts. All my nuts. You could do all my nuts. Leticia? Hey. Ray. I hope Albert's arm gets patched up all right. I am certain it will. Ahem, uh, Ray. Yeah? If I may, let me share a story from my past. Oh? Albert lost his left arm 14 years ago. Back then, I used to drag out Baird and Cousin Theo around, causing them much annoyance. That day was just like any other. I was playing in an isolated area of the castle, a place I fancied my own secret bastion. It was then an unfortunate accident befell me. The decrepit castle walls, long since fallen into disrepair, came falling from above. Yet I was unharmed. 
the one who shielded me. Damn. That's all it took? It was Maester Midas and Lady Malkia who saved Albert's life. But their actions served as the catalyst for the three wise men's exile from the kingdom. Some decried the transplanting of limbs between species as a vile, evil, unforgivable act. Maester Midas suffered much, but so too did Maesters Marcus, Filberto, and Lady Malkia. They were all brought before the court to answer for their blasphemous deed. And it was my lord uncle who spearheaded their persecution. The decisive act that sealed their fate was when father acquiesced to the claims. Father had no choice but to submit to my lord uncle's power, given his relation to the late empress of Vale. Maester Midas was spared the mark of treason, but ultimately vanished. Lady Malkia's studies at the Semiomancy Consortium were ended. Our relations with Nilbeth severed. Jesus Christ. Maester Marcus and Filberto followed Maester Midas into the hinterlands. No wonder Midas gets so heated. Actually, I'm kind of surprised you even thought of asking Midas for help. I inquired Director Melfia about the Fulga. With it, I knew I could protect the kingdom. I beseeched Albert for his help, asked Cousin Theo to assist with arrangements. And then, Ray, I met you. Nah, I haven't done a thing. I haven't done anything. I began to think that everything will be fine. That things will work out. And they did. I have never been so excited for the days to come. Oh. Thank you for listening to my overlong story. Shall we head back? Yes, we will do that, please. Inside the operating room. Seems the procedure may still take some time. You had best rest while you can. Off to bed then. All right. We're going to night nights then. We're going to make some night nights. Indeed. Behold, your highness. So, feeling ready to get back at it? Naturally. Let us not keep Theo waiting. He said it. Let's make tracks. How fare you this morning, Lady Malkia? Better, after hearing the Imperial troops have left our shore. Now is the time to descend into the coil. Is it that deep? The ancient coil is sacred ground for semiomancers. It is suitably deep. Losing one's way would prove fatal. Their kind do not go astray. Their strange tools create detailed cartographs. Then, there is no reason to worry. Shall we depart? Are you coming with us, Lady Malkia? <laughs> As leader of the Traffin, it would be unspeakable to not join you on our sacred grounds. There is an entrance into the coil within the village. I will meet you there after informing my people. All right. 
The entrance to the ruins was through Malkia's room, wasn't it? We should get down there once we're ready. Good morning, Albert. You're looking much better. Thank you. I feel strong enough to move mountains. That's an overstatement, but okay. I'm relieved the procedure went well. But I am afraid I come bearing ill tidings. What is it? Who's this jack wagon? What happened to his royal majesty? The wounds he sustained in Baldar have worsened, leaving him bedridden. Sinister activity has also been observed around Baldar. Neon wishes for the immediate return of her highness. Theo has already left Kato for the royal city. The ship that approaches is one sent by Neon. You should go, Leticia. Now? Look, your people are calling for you in their time of need. It's them you've been fighting for all along, right? If the king has truly fallen, nothing will prevent Lambert from doing whatsoever he pleases. He may even impede our work on the fallback. I'll keep Elena updated on our situation with this. We can handle the rest here. Very well. I leave the retrieval of the Levitas ore in your hands. No problem. And Albert, you'll be going with her, right? Of course. I leave the rest here to you. Should any trouble arise, I shall inform Elena with all haste. I'll stay behind. If I left and Gray or the others got sick or hurt, they'd be in trouble. As shall I, as an authority on Levitas Or. I await good tidings in the royal city. Oh, yay. Separated party, let's go. Separation time. All the separation time. I leave the retrieval of the ore. Exploring ancient ruins like this. Glad you think so, because it's about to get grimy and gloomy. No problem. Don't forget, I grew up in a mining town. A little field work like this is nothing to me. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> All right, let's kill it. <laughs> Come on. Let's go, boys. Get in there! All the birds. Look how far down it goes. Sweet! Ooh. Come on, how do I do how do I, I always forget how to um well that's over with I think I had to like <sighs> Oh my god No! Damn it, no! Sweet. All right, what am I doing to myself? 
No! I can't fast do this to myself. What is going on? I can't. Oh my god. All right. How am I going to pull this off? Oh, I think. Oh, no, we already did it. Never mind. All right. Give me a second. I can use the bathroom anyways. Be right back, you guys. All right, we are back. Excuse me for that one. We had I had to go to the bathroom really bad. All right, let's keep going. Let's see here. Um. All right, we shouldn't take that long, honestly. The hell was that? Likely a trap to deter wood. <clears throat> Oh my god! Set of humor! Alright, let's see here. Um Nope, we can't get out of here. Sweet. Ancient coin. How do we even do that? I forgot. Okay, hold on. What's this in this corner? There we go. All right, come on. What's going on here? How the hell do we cut? I always forget to cut this through. Damn it. Um.
See, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do right now. Alright, come on. We need to figure some stuff shit out. I don't know what I just did. These symbols are just like the ones we saw at the shrine on Yelk Olympus. The records of all sites in the world engraved with such symbols can be traced all the way back to the ancient coil. Nina. Your pendant. What? Whoa. Where did you get that? My dad gave it to me. I just assumed it was a good luck charm for our atromancers. Do you know what it is, Uncle Midas? I am no iatromancer. That is a question better asked of Marcus on your return to Delric. Hmm. Does this mean Dad and Dr. Eason have been here before? The three wise men have all visited this place. So, Nina, you are Filberto's daughter. Is he in good health? He passed. Oh, what the f uh oh, one second, guys. I see. Once the realm is at peace, there is something of your father's that would return to you. You are always welcome amongst the Traffin, Nina the Fourth. Thank you, Lady. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We're kind of looking at emotes right now, so I do apologize. I'm not really talking right now. All right, come on. All right, I need to like notifications. Jesus Christ. <laughs> One second, guys. All right, there you go. All right, let's keep going. Oh, shit. Why am I hitting beer right back? Let's see. All right. You know what? All right. Let's uh, we'll save this for next time. Probably save this for Friday. So now we're just gonna get into the ruins. All right. This box of war, the Trothan. All right. Cool. All right. So we're gonna call this a night. Thank you guys so much. Uh. You guys have been awesome. Let me scroll up more. And I'll thank a lot of you guys here. There's a lot of you guys I really want to thank. Uh, Cody Judah, thank you for bringing the raid of 16 people. You guys are awesome. Uh, Vanessa, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome to the Wasabi. Uh, welcome, excuse me. Welcome to the Bucket Man Squad. I'm going to say I'm gonna say my other thing. Uh, thank you for that. You guys are awesome. 
Okay, you guys are awesome. What else we got here? Bleed Crimson, Blazy, thank you for stopping in. Thank you for stopping in. Uh, Mile High, thank you for jumping in as well. A lot of you guys from the raid. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Samurai, Southern Samurai, thank you very much for stopping in as well. You're awesome. Stretch Nuts, thank you for the follow and thank you for the chatting. Appreciate it. And all the fun goats. Marigold, thank you very much for stopping in as well. Uh, thank you, Nightshade Gaming and One Guy. That One Guy 2219, you guys are awesome for stopping in. I appreciate all of you. I will see you guys on Friday. We'll be playing some more Star Ocean. We'll be playing some more of this. Um, we're gonna I'm going to try to grind if possible, but I don't think that's going to happen, especially where in the area I'm in. So we'll won't take long. Uh, we're not sure on the next game we're going to be playing yet, so we're going to be looking around. I looked at Wild Arms. It's a classic like PlayStation 1 game. That might be kind of cool. I'm going to try to see if I really like the game because I, I heard the game was really one of the more underrated JRPG games back in Century. I've heard of like Wild Arms, Wild Arms 2, 3, 4, you know. Anyway, there's that. Uh, we tried playing Shovel Knight. I don't I don't really like Shovel Knight. I'm not a fan of it, honestly. Not that great at it, so we're not playing that again. Um, so let's see. Gundam. Ooh, we might play SD Gundam Battle Alliance if we, we get back uh from the holidays. If if we don't finish Star Ocean by the holidays. Uh, well, before my before um, vacation week, before like basically where I'm off off of stream the entire rest of the next two week, two or three weeks, uh, we should be back by then. So that'll be awesome. And. That should be everything. You guys have been awesome. I'll thank you guys on Twitter. I'll tag a lot of you guys if I can. If not, no big deal. I'll tag your usernames regardless. But also, thank you, Hive, for the freaking raid. I did not deserve that raid at all. I did not deserve it. You guys have been awesome. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a awesome rest of your night. I will talk to you guys soon, of course. Uh, if you guys haven't followed me yet, you guys can follow me on Twitter. We'll be on there more and more often. Uh, more than ever. And we're going to look for somebody to raid next. So let's see here. You know, let's give Mile High a, a raid. Screw it. We'll give this man a raid. All right. I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Ciao.